Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in five minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your five-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two minute time check stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check, stations.
on the Hawkeye Sports Network. From Learfield, Hawkeye basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. hy V score big savings with a new hy V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. March has arrived and with it uh, the madness of the NCAA college basketball tournaments. Men and women that will get underway in a couple weeks. Much to be decided between now and then. Uh, really the only question for the Hawkeye women is will they be a number one or a number two seed? We should know a lot more after tomorrow's game in Iowa City with the uh, second ranked and uh, the Big Ten champion Ohio State Buckeyes. Uh, we'll talk more about that 12:30 tip off uh, a little bit later on as the afternoon wears on. Uh, the uh, Hawkeye women are guaranteed the double buy at next week's Big Ten tournament, though, in Minneapolis. As for the men, there's much to do to make the postseason tournament field. The Hawkeyes, though, got a badly needed victory over Penn State in Iowa City on Tuesday. That's uh, uh, the first triple-double in program history, courtesy of 6'7", junior wing Peyton Sanford. Sanford's line was 26 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, made 18 of 19 free throw attempts in the 90 to 81 victory over the visiting Lions. Uh, hey, more of the same. Do it again today, Peyton. Uh, meanwhile, fellow guard Josh Dix started the game hitting his first seven shots en route to a 20-point evening. Both of those guards are of prime importance this afternoon if the Hawkeyes are to get out of town. Uh, Evanston in particular against Northwestern with another Big Ten victory. All so important, so precious this time of the year. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen greet you from Welsh Ryan Arena on the Northwestern campus. The Wildcats, winners of five of their last six games, including three in a row, sits in third place in the Big Ten at 11 and 6, 20 and 8 overall. And Bobby, uh, Chris Collins in his 11th year, that's hard to believe in and of itself, but he continues to get it done here. Yeah, he really has done a great job here with this uh, Wildcat team over the years, and in particular the last five years as they got to the NCAA tournament last year. They're there again this year, and uh, this is a team that you can't not respect, Gary. Uh, they got an all-Big Ten performing guard, an all-American type in Boo Booey. He is now the leading scorer in uh, Northwestern history at over 2,000 points. He got the other night and uh, yeah you got to know where he is at all times you're going to have to defend the ball screen action he's his favorite move is that step back three kind of like Caitlin Clark and he'll D up as well Chase Audige has moved on to the professional ranks but Boo Booey is still doing a remarkable job as the leader of this program what I liked about the other night in Iowa City Bobby was the Hawks uh, got the lead and didn't give it up and, and they finished the deal yeah they really did and, and know that the, these are very important games you get two regular season games games left Gary that your destiny is in your own hands if you will with the home game against Illinois next Sunday uh, evening but this is a huge game right here this afternoon at the Welsh Ryan Arena it's gonna be a packed house there'll be a lot of Hawkeye fans in here they're gonna honor uh, Billy McKinney one of the all-time greats here at Northwestern so there'll be a lot of energy in the building here but I can't believe it's March already and season is winding down You've got Northwestern that uh, really guards the three-point line, and yet they shoot 42% from three. So they're getting it done from distance. They do. They get to the free-throw line as well. you got to keep these guys off the line. They're without one of their uh, best shooters, Ty Berry, who has lost for the season with a torn meniscus. He's out here. just uh, He's got a knee brace on there, so that's an unfortunate thing for Northwestern. 
in his absence, though, they've, they've gotten great uh, production from guys that are stepping in. And you, you talk with Coach Collins about plugging the hole, just the next man in. They don't play a lot, Gary, so they play seven, eight guys, and that's about it. So really important that the Hawks get tempo going in their favor, get out and run, rebound and run with the basketball. Try to, try to get above 65 because that is the number. 11-1 and one this year when Northwestern holds opponents 65 or less, 20-2 and two, uh, since last year of 65 is the number. So got to get got to get past that here today. Road victories in the Big Ten are so precious, and they really look good on your resume come uh, NCAA tournament bid time. Northwestern went into Maryland the other night to, without uh, uh, the aforementioned Ty Berry, who's done for the year. Uh, Langborg, uh, their outstanding uh, young transfer from Princeton University, who was averaging a double figures at uh, almost 12 points a game. He goes down with a sprained ankle, and who steps in? Who steps up? Nick Martinelli, averaging eight points, uh, threw in a career-high 27. And then this walk-on uh, from here in Chicago, Blake Smith, came in six points, five rebounds, uh, several assists, and uh, helped Boo Booey run the show. So Chris Collins has done a good job in recruiting here to this school. Yeah, he really has, and it's not easy to recruit to Northwestern, Gary. As we all know, there's a certain grade point in academic standards that must be met. But the kid you talk about, Blake Smith, he came in and really played some great defense on Maryland, made it tough on those guards. We know how tough Jameer Young and, and those guys are, so he, he certainly plays his role. But it's Martinelli. He, he stepped up big time, as you mentioned, in the career high. He's a crafty lefty from uh, just down the road here in, in Chicago High School. Brooks Barnheiser has been doing it all uh, season long for them. He does the dirty work. He gets, he makes plays. He makes winning plays for Northwestern. So uh, you got to respect all of them that come in here. But number one, Boo Booey, he's the guy you really got to pay attention to. Josh Dix, I assume, will be the person assigned to him early. But uh, don't uh, discount Tony Perkins eventually maybe going over on Boo. And you just got a player like that, Gary. You got to make them work. You got to make them work hard for every shot, for every basket. They're going to score because they're that talented. But maybe the last minute of the game when you're working making them work so hard come up a little bit tired come up a little bit short you mentioned blake smith grew up just down the road for northwestern somebody else who grew up just down the road actually about an hour away in Bourbonnet, is and returning home is owen freeman uh, I think a lock for the Big Ten freshman of the year. He is really uh, fired up uh, to play here in front of a lot of his Chicago relatives uh, uh, from Bourbon A, about an hour southeast of here. Uh, and uh, it would be great to see uh, Owen register another uh, double-double as he's been used to doing. So that's the story as we see it uh, out of the gate here at Northwestern, the Hawkeyes and the Wildcats. Uh, ahead, we've got a scoreboard update, a Hawkeye women's sports update. We'll hear from Caitlin Clark. At halftime, we're going to uh, talk with the Iowa baseball coach, uh, Rick Heller, who's uh, got a team picked to win the Big Ten, if you ask the coaches around the league. But up next, we'll take a trip down memory lane with the Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Hey Iowans, Luca Garza here. For me to get to the NBA, I've worked on my speed, precision, and my shot. For you to get to the NBA, all you need is the Iowa Lottery. First, play bonus multiplier scratch tickets and you could win up to $100,000. Then, enter non-winning tickets for your chance to win a VIP suite experience with the Minnesota Timberwolves, including food, hotel, and $1,000 cash. Plus, center court seats to see the Iowa Wolves. Enter today and see rules at ialottery.com slash VIP. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. 
Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. Nestled on the rolling greens of the iconic Finkbine Golf Course, Bump's Restaurant is open to the public year-round. Whether you're swinging by after a round of golf or just in the neighborhood, Bump's is your go-to spot for scrumptious sandwiches, shareable appetizers, and mouth-watering pizzas. Quench your thirst with our selection of local craft beers. Or let our full bar serve you a refreshing cocktail to toast to your game. Or just because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. is the perfect 19th hole. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch Catch our latest daily specials. And here's a little insider secret just for our radio listeners. Thursdays are not to be missed at Bump's Restaurant. It's BOGO Happy Hour. Buy one, get one free on select beverages from our happy hour menu. Whether you're a diehard golfer or just love a great meal with a view, Bump's Restaurant at Finkbine Golf Course is your destination. We're currently open Wednesday through Saturday. Swing on by today. Bump's at Finkbine Golf Course. Great food, great drinks, and the best views in town. See you at Bump's. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Hawkeyes and Northwestern headed for a, a tip off a, a minute or two after 430. Iowa comes in 17 victories, 12 defeats overall, needing desperately to win uh, here and then at home a week from tomorrow against the uh, Fighting Illini to uh, inch closer to a, a postseason bid. Uh, of course, it would be nice, too, if they pick off one or two at the Big Ten tournament in Minneapolis a couple weeks hence, but that's an eternity away. Let's talk about the immediate past, our Hawkeye historical winning moment, courtesy of Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Thanks to the Keel family and everybody, the great staff, Damon and crew down there at uh, Riverside Casino and Golf for sponsoring uh, this Hawkeye historical winning moment. We invite you to stop by this weekend for a relaxing massage at the spa, fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood, the matriarch of the Keel family, and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf, located minutes south of Iowa City. Northwestern won here a year ago in the only regular season meeting between Iowa and the Wildcats. Boo Booey scored 23 points. Northwestern shot 49% from the field in an 80 to 60 victory. Uh, the Wildcats, uh, that was their fifth consecutive win at the time. They were headed to the NCAA tournament. They held Iowa to three of 24 from three. That's what I remember most about that game. And Northwestern also forced 15 Iowa turnovers, led by Boo Booey and Chase Audij. Audij is gone. Bowie is still here. As for uh, several years back, let's go to January 2021 when the Hawks crushed the Wildcats here in Evanston. That's the last time Iowa won at Welsh Ryan Arena, 96 to 73. Hawks owning the defensive glass. Bohannon shooting in transition, scores a dagger three. Timeout Northwestern. Luca Garza had 17 points, 10 rebounds in just 24 minutes of that game. Iowa was ranked number five in the country, and the Hawks rolled to that Sunday victory by 23. Joe Wieskamp had 16 points. Iowa got to 12-2 and 6-1 and and in the Big Ten, winning their fifth consecutive game. Garza was averaging 27 points a game entering that Northwestern contest. Iowa took control of the contest with a 13-point run. Six of those by Jack Nungy. The Hawks led by uh, 12 at the break and opened the second half with a 13-2 run. Uh, for a 62-39 lead and win it going away, 96-73. That is the Hawkeye historical winning moment courtesy of our friends at Riverside Casino and Golf. Now the U.S. Bank scoreboard. We know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. The U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of their customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Scores in the Big Ten uh, this afternoon. Earlier today, a uh, noon tip-off, Illinois, 13th-ranked Illinois, went into Madison and knocked off the Badgers 91-83. to Penn State and Minnesota are playing now. Uh, the Nittany Lions up in Minneapolis had a double-digit lead on the Gophers in the first half. Minnesota's come back to cut the advantage to six. 
Penn State 53, Minnesota 47 with 11 minutes to play in uh, that game at Williams Arena. Right here, it's Iowa and Northwestern from Evanston. And then tonight, Michigan State at second-ranked Purdue. Tom Izzo versus Matt Painter. Uh, around the country, uh, let's take a look at some of the ranked teams in action. Battle of top 25s, 18th-ranked South Carolina beat Florida. 82-76, Florida rated 24th. Uh, problems continue for Kansas. The seventh-ranked Jayhawks, no doubt, will fall out of the top ten uh, after this weekend. Uh, they lost earlier in the week, and then Baylor uh, defeated KU. Uh, 82-74 this afternoon down in Waco. 16th-ranked Kentucky. How about this score? Kentucky beat Arkansas 111-102. to Number six, Arizona, has just gone final, defeating Oregon 103 uh, to 83 and out in Omaha uh, 12th ranked Creighton has defeated Marquette Is that a final it is a final 89 75 Greg McDermott's Blue Jays over the Marquette uh, Golden Eagles elsewhere ninth ranked North Carolina is hosting uh, North Carolina State and that's 39 37 North Carolina State with a couple minutes remaining in the uh, in the first half later tonight it's Tennessee and Alabama number one Houston travels to Oklahoma Iowa State the Cyclones are playing this afternoon the eighth rated Cyclones on the road lead at Central Florida 27 to 23 Iowa baseball got a big victory at Ole Miss last night five to one we'll talk with Rick Heller at halftime check that so Iowa won last night five six to one excuse me this afternoon it's uh, Ole Miss six Iowa five that is at the end of five innings of play down in uh, Oxford Mississippi Iowa girls basketball the state tournament going on this week and they're in the championship round in 5A Johnston uh, outpointed uh, West Des Moines Dowling 48 to 36 Later today, it's Clear, Clear Creek Amana and Waverly Shellrock for the 4A championship. In 3A, Solon topped Esterville Lincoln Central for the title. The hardware, 54-47. Solon uh, has gone back-to-back. The uh, 2A championship is later this afternoon, Dyke, New Hartford, and Panorama. And then tonight at 7 o'clock, North Lynn faces Newell Fonda uh, for the 1A championship. There you have the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. More of the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show coming up here from Evanston. Iowa taking on Northwestern at Welsh Ryan Arena. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Join Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter and Iowa men's basketball coach Fran McCaffrey for Hawk Talk live from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville's Iowa River Landing. Check out the schedule on HawkeyeSports.com. Hey Iowans, Luca Garza here. For me to get to the NBA, I've worked on my speed, precision, and my shot. For you to get to the NBA, all you need is the Iowa Lottery. First, play bonus multiplier scratch tickets and you could win up to $100,000. Then, enter non-winning tickets for your chance to win a VIP suite experience with the Minnesota Timberwolves, including food, hotel, and $1,000 cash. Plus, center court seats to see the Iowa Wolves. Enter today and see rules at ialottery.com slash VIP. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. 
Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawkeyes and the Northwestern Wildcats uh, getting after it at 430 this afternoon here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Uh, Critical uh, juncture for both teams, really. Northwestern's in the tournament, uh, 20 and 8. Uh, third place in the Big Ten Conference. They can continue to climb that ladder and keep pace with uh, Illinois. Uh, nobody going to catch Purdue, uh, at least in my view. But, uh, you know, stranger things have happened. For the Hawkeyes, they just need to win, period. Get to uh, get these two remaining games in the regular season, hopefully a couple in Minneapolis. Right now, though, let's check out the women's sports update, courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. We talked earlier about the Buckeye women's team hosting uh, number two Ohio State in front of another sellout crowd on Senior Day tomorrow. ESPN's College Game Day will broadcast live from Carver from 10 to 11 tomorrow morning. The arena doors now, uh, for those of you with tickets, the arena doors will open to fans at 9. You should sit in sections AA and B first and then fill in around those two sections after that if you'd like to attend uh, College Game Day. The big news out of the Iowa program this week, of course, was All-American Caitlin Clark announcing that she would forego her fifth year of eligibility with the Hawkeyes and move on to the WNBA. I think just going into senior night, um, having that decision clear, not only for myself, but our fans, my teammates, um, I think that was super important. And honestly, just, I don't know, getting the weight of the world off my shoulders and being able to enjoy this last these last couple, this last month uh, with my teammates, I think, is the biggest thing. And, you know, I think I kind of knew in my heart. So uh, being able to, to kind of get that off my shoulders was the biggest thing. And, yeah, I think it's just I think it's just important going into this final stretch, whether it's, you know, our last home game and then obviously probably hosting two home games at home. I think just really enjoying that and soaking that in is, is my biggest focus. No, well, Bobby, she couldn't make a wrong decision, whatever she decided. She made the right decision. Yeah, no doubt. In my mind, yeah, no doubt about it. She's proven everything that she can possibly prove at the college level. Now it's time to go test herself against uh, the best women players in the world, and she will do great. She needs 18 points to pass uh, Pistol Pete. That's Pistol amazing. Pistol Pete, you get it. 3,667 points for Pistol Pete, so go get that record tomorrow, Caitlin. More importantly, get the Hawkeyes... Uh, a win uh, headed to postseason. Hawkeye women's golf team wrapped up a record-breaking weekend at the Westbrook Spring Invitational down in Arizona. The Hawks finished with a team 18 and 54 hole school records and two individuals broke the top 54 hole program mark. Iowa fired a nine under par in 279. That's a top round in program history with four players finishing the day with the subpar rounds. Congratulations to coach and the Iowa women's golf team. Hawkeyes return to action tomorrow. They're over in uh, Jacksonville, Florida for the Momentum Transportation uh, University of North Florida collegiate uh, event. Hawkeye volleyball this week. Coach uh, Jim Barnes hired a couple new coaches. Welcome to Mika Brecky and Maggie Johnson, named assistant coaches for the Iowa volleyball program. Uh, welcome to uh, Hawkeye Nation, to both Tamika and Maggie. That's our Hawkeye women's sports update, courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission, responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments. 
state volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much, much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission, it's a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Just a minute, we'll hear from Northwestern head coach Chris Collins as we count it down to the Hawkeyes and the Wildcats here this afternoon from Evanston. That's next. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's be honest, we all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's Authentic Brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the Authentic Brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at Authentic-Brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for Authentic Brand. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat. Nice. Which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hey, it's your friend, Social Media. You know, where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting because we all have struggles and challenges like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. Talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to. Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Iowa Northwestern from Evanston uh, this afternoon. We're about to hear from the Wildcats head coach Chris Collins. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10-second ID break on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. The Hawkeyes are in Evanston to face Northwestern. This is the only matchup between the two schools during the regular season. The Hawks have won three of their last four games and uh, five and three since the calendar turned to February. It wasn't a pleasant trip here a year ago. The Hawks got run out of the building, uh, ultimately getting beat by 20. But Iowa has defeated Northwestern nine of the last 10 meetings. Our feature this afternoon is on Clear Lake native Brad Floyd. Brad has kept the Hawkeye basketball team healthy for, well, 13 years. Brad Floyd studied and learned from the Hall of Famer John Streif. He does so much more than tape ankles. 
Floy says, on balance, this uh, Hawkeye basketball season has been very fortunate injury-wise. It's always uh, good to get a full lineup out there, uh, game in and game out. I know it helps coach out a lot. Uh, ankle sprains, which are, are commonality uh, in uh, uh, the normality for college basketball. But uh, I, I think Elaji Dembele going down underneath the basket a few weeks ago and you know, five, ten years ago, probably would have kept him out of a half a dozen games. I think he missed one, maybe two. Uh, what's different about ankle injuries uh, in terms of treatment uh, that maybe we didn't see a decade ago? Yeah, well, Alonji, first of all, I put that on him. He was just amazing with how he recovered and just dealing with it. I mean, not everybody can come back that quickly with that. And so he was in the, the right headspace to want to come back that soon because not everybody feels ready. So I'll put a lot of the credit to him. Uh, but we do have a pretty good system when we take care of them. We see a lot of them. They're always going to happen. It's just how do you manage them once they happen and trying to prevent them the best you can. So, uh, you know, in his case, it was just really getting a, a strength back right away, his range back, and then just him feeling ready to go. So I'll give him the credit for uh, just doing the work and uh, then getting out in the court as soon as he felt he could help the team. Uh, you learned from the best in John Streif and the great training staff at Iowa. Uh, what in your, and you've been here a while now, Brad, what in your term... Uh, it has been the most significant advancement in day-to-day -day training technique. Well, I, first, John Streif has been an amazing. Uh, I give him all the credit for where I'm at in my career and setting me up. Uh, I learned a, a ton from him. I mean, he's in the business 40 years, so I, I could go on and on about Streif and, and what he did, not just for me, but for a profession. Uh, but I think just our advancements medically, I mean, we have a great sports medicine staff, their team physicians, uh, fellows that we work with. So just our, our access to imaging and uh, being the quick care that we can get for uh, some of these significant injuries. Like we're not waiting around uh, to kind of see what happens. We're able to, to move quick on anything we need. Uh, so just technology and access to it. And we're you know, fortunate Iowa Big Ten Research University, where we've got these facilities and this technology. And, and it just sets these guys up for being able to come back sooner, being able to get the most out of their career. Uh, so I think it's just the, the place we're at, the University of Iowa, and, and our medical system is just second to none. So uh, I'm fortunate to work here. I'm fortunate to have players uh, that are really good to work with. Uh, I mean, Coach McCaffrey recruits the highest quality character kid, so that makes my day-to-day -day life just <laughs> enjoyable. I mean, every day I go to work, it's, I just love it. Uh, so it, it, it's been great. So I think all these things, just having the system in place, just sets these guys up to have the healthiest career possible. Lastly, uh, you work hand in glove with uh, Bill Maxwell and the strength and conditioning uh, group. Uh, that that has been paramount to keeping these guys successful and on the floor, correct? Oh yeah, Maxwell. I mean, having somebody with his experience in that position is, is just invaluable. Uh, we talked about ankle injuries a second ago. I mean, we have a system where I can send guys to him and say, "Hey, you know, so and so sprained their ankle. They're three days out. Here's where we're at." And I don't need to explain anything to him. He just takes it from there. I mean, he gets it. He understands it. He doesn't put him at further risk. He knows exactly what to do. So we've got our system for rank prevention that he works through. And then when guys have an injury, I don't need to explain every little inside and out thing about the injury to him. He just gets it. Iowa trainer Brad Floy and strength and conditioning coach Bill Maxwell hoping to extend uh, the Hawkeyes' physically fit basketball season well into March. Iowa and Northwestern headed for a 4.30 tip-off here at Welsh Ryan Arena this afternoon. Back with more of the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show in just a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just needs someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, You'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? 
At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. We're at Welsh Ryan Arena in Evanston, Illinois, awaiting this afternoon's Big Ten showdown between the Hawkeyes and the Northwestern Wildcats. Thank you to United Healthcare for sponsoring the small businesses across the state of Iowa. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Time to hear from Northwestern head coach Chris Collins. It's amazing to think that Collins, still with his youthful looks, is in his 11th season uh, at the helm here in uh, Evanston. The Wildcats got a big road win at Maryland Wednesday night and therefore reached the 20 win plateau for a second consecutive year and just the sixth time in program history. Collins has done a remarkable job despite some significant injuries this year, particularly to a perimeter shooter Ty Berry. But guys like Blake Smith, the walk on, and Nick Martinelli have stepped in and stepped up. Martinelli hit nine of 14 field goal attempts at Maryland the other night. Collins has been able to plug the holes. I think we have a competitive group, a tough-minded group of guys, obviously a terrific leader in Boo Booey who has led the way. And um, our guys, you know, have, like I said, they've, they've gone out there and they've tried to battle and be gritty and tough and, you know, coming off a, a really big win for us on the road at Maryland. Anytime you can win on the road, especially in late February, um, it means something. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get a little bit healthier as, as we get here to the end of the year. And, and, and then the guys that have gotten more time now can be a little bit more confident as you put it all together. Boo Booey, I, I just I get more amazed with his skill set every time I watch you guys play. And guys come, guys go. Audige is gone. Uh, Ty Berry's hurt, and, and yet Boo just adjusts, doesn't he? Yeah, it just it's it's a great you know journey that he's been on you know he came in as a freshman took his lumps you know we kind of stuck with him put the ball in his hands had some um, some really high highs some low lows we had some tough seasons when he was young and he's he's just stayed with it stayed t- true to the program he's continued to work you know his will his toughness you know has really helped us get over the hump here these last couple years to to have a winning culture and uh, uh you know a big part of that is what he's brought to the program Coach, you're shooting 45% from the field, 42% from three. Those numbers are outstanding. Uh, uh, what else has been key in this uh, five wins out of six games? Yeah, I think our defense, you know, we we have we we lost Ty Berry, who was a terrific shooter and scorer. You know, now we, you know, Ryan Langborg missed the last game. So you take 26 points out of the lineup, you better defend. 
and rebound. And so I think the thing in this stretch, we might not be as prolific as we were with spacing and shooting and scoring, but I think we've improved defensively and on the glass, and it's enabled us to give ourselves a chance to win. Martinelli has been big time stepping up for you. Yeah, young guy, um, you know, local product. Um, you know, he's, he's just got one of those kind of games. You don't know how it works, but it does. He's a lefty and crafty, and he really stepped up big the other night, 27 points on the road. And uh, certainly as we move forward, we're going to continue to lean on it. Well, uh, how about the Hawks uh, this year with Fran? I know you, you you, and he and families go way back in Philly. Yeah, I mean, I, I love Franny and, and the job he does. You know, he's been someone I've always admired and looked up to in terms of running a program. His teams get better. His young players get better. You know, the job he's done with these guys watching, you know, you and I were just talking offline, just the improvement of all these guys. I mean, certainly Owen's been tre tremendous, but Josh Dix is one of my favorite players to watch. I mean, Peyton Sanford, incredible year. Tony Perkins, those guys. Guys, they're starting to hit their stride, and, and they do what they do really well with the space and the, the motion offense and the pace, and, and we know we're going to have our hands full here this afternoon. Coach, thanks so much as always. All right, thank you. Northwestern leads the Big Ten and ranks sixth nationally, averaging just nine turnovers a game. The Wildcats have the second-best assist-to-turnover ratio. Northwestern leads the league and ranks sixth nationally, averaging just nine turnovers per game. The Wildcats have the second best assist to turnover ratio at almost two to one. And that is sixth in the country. You're not going to get many giveaways, uh, gifts from the Wildcats. So you got to play just good, solid defense. And the Hawks have been showing that, uh, whether they be man uh, or uh, or zone, which they've been showing more of lately. Thanks to uh, Northwestern coach Chris Collins. Hey, it's a new season at Kohl's with everyday styles at great prices. You get more of what you want for less. Find go-tos for going everywhere and perfect picks uh, for your home. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com. In just a minute, we'll hear from Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey. He's brought to you courtesy of the Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow greets, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 
Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. We're back at Welsh Ryan Arena in Evanston, Illinois. A windy afternoon in the Windy City. Very often with Bobby Hansen. Iowa preparing to take on the Northwestern Wildcats. who sit in third place in the conference. The three-point line will be certainly a focal point in this afternoon's game. Uh, the Wildcats are second in the Big Ten in three-point goal percentage at 39 and fourth in three-point makes, averaging a little over eight per game. Meanwhile, uh, Hawkeye Peyton Sanford coming off a phenomenal uh, game the other night. We'll talk more about the triple-double with Fran McCaffrey next. Uh, Peyton's leading the Big Ten with 74 three-point goals on a league-high 203 attempts, and he's 36.5%. Uh, from beyond the arc. So that is the place we'll start with Fran McCaffrey. That and Peyton Sanford's uh, triple-double the other night. Coach McCaffrey is brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers. Great Iowa John Deere dealers like Van Wall Equipment uh, in Missouri Valley. Coming off the first uh, triple-double in Iowa men's basketball history, Fran McCaffrey knew in the recruiting process that Peyton Sanford was much more than a shooter. You know, I think the important thing for him has always been not just to be a shooter. You know, he's always rebounded. He's always handled the ball well. He can bring it down. Uh, you know, willing passer. Gives it up easy. And You know, we did a really good job the other night cutting, and he was loading guys up, and that's how you break the defense down. 22 assists on 25 made baskets. I'll, I'll say Hawks are fourth nationally in assist to turnover ratio. Uh, number one in the Big Ten in free throws. Uh, Three-point looks. Uh, I mean, you, you're doing a lot of great things uh, efficiently on, on offense, and and there's uh, many guys to thank for that. Yeah, you know, I think generally, Duff, we have a we have a really good ball handling team. You know, Josh was a point guard in high school. As we just said, Peyton, you know, plays on the wing, sometimes at the four spot. Patrick's a really good ball handler. I mean, you know, Tony, Brock, Desante. So we're not going to turn the ball over. And the important thing is if you're going to play fast like we do and push the ball, you can't throw it away. you got to come down and, and understand that sometimes you score early, sometimes you score late. Coach, uh, uh, as a father and, and as head coach, uh, uh, with Patrick uh, joining the 1,000-point club, I think he's a 53rd or 54th member of the 1,000-point club. When you think back to uh, how his college career began with all the medical setbacks, uh, it's quite an accomplishment for uh, PMAC. It really is. And, you know, I remember when he you know, set the scoring record at West High, uh, how proud that was for all of us uh, based on how his journey has gone. And then, of course, he comes here and you know, we got the pandemic and then you know, he, was, he had his anxiety issues. When he, but he's always you know, dealing with the health ramifications of his original cancer diagnosis. But he's figured out how to handle that nutritionally in the weight room with sleep and eating, uh, it's a challenge for him you know, to get his body right to play at this level. So as you just mentioned, Bob, it's pretty hard to get a 1,000 points at this level in the Big Ten. And be the 53rd guy to do it, considering all the great players that have played here. I just couldn't be more proud of him. And, well, you should be. You know, it's been fun watching Lodgy Dembele's uh, development. He had five points, three rebounds. Uh, a, a key assist the other night led to a run-out basket uh, in nine minutes. Uh, you got to like his future. Most definitely, and and you know I've said this last two ball games because he's been terrific. Uh, you know, Owen's been great, but you know, we got to get Lodge more minutes, to get him out there because not only was he able to do the things you just mentioned, but you know, he's probably our best low post defender. Coach uh, Northwestern got a big road win at uh, Maryland Wednesday, 20th win of the season. They're 11 and six in the Big Ten, good enough for third place. And I mean, Boo Booey. Uh, what else uh, do you see beyond Boo? I mean, Boo's the drinkster certainly, but. Uh, Chris, despite some injuries, has put a lot of nice pieces around Boo. 
You know, it's interesting about that game. I think Boo only had 12 or 14 points, and they still went on the road. And Martinelli goes for 27. He's really stepped up since Ty Berry's injury. Langborg did not play in the last game. And so, you know, they brought Rollins and Smith and Clayton off the bench. Those guys are contributing. Luke Hunger's contributing. So, you know, they've got some depth there. Now they're shooting 42% from three, Coach. What are the keys today uh, with the perimeter defense? Well, it starts with Boo. You got you got to wall him off and, and you know, make him work. Uh, recognize personnel, whether it's Langborg, Martinelli. I mean, Barnheiser's proven one of the best players in our league, uh, and that you could see coming last year. Uh, he was so. Uh, then you got Nicholson, you know, rolling to the basket on screen roll situation, dunking everything. So they spread you out, and so what you have to be able to do is sustain effort, no personnel, guard ball screen action and understand how we're going to close out to the shooters. Coach, let's close with a word about DeSante Bowen. You mentioned him the other night. Uh, surgery uh, uh, on his knee will end his season. I, I was looking at his numbers today. 25 games. Talk about productive moments. He averaged four and a half points. A three to one turnover. Uh, it's just a turnover ratio. 85% at the free throw line. Uh, uh, sorry to see him uh, go down for the year, but he's been a key piece of your depth. Yeah, and he will not be here today. He is attending his grandmother's funeral back home in Boston. So, uh, but I, you know, I struggled the last two games, knowing his surgery was going to be on March 6th. Play him. You know, he's kind of cleared to play, but he's been in a lot of pain. And, you know, I didn't want to risk it, so we shut him down since he's going to have his surgery on March 6th. Like I said, so uh, very productive guy, a class act in the locker room, and just a tremendous teammate. And, uh, you know, we're going to miss him, but others have to step up. And hopefully others like Owen Freeman and Ben Cricky will step up uh, inside today. The Hawks capable of doing some damage uh, in the post on the Northwestern Wildcats. Our pregame visit with Coach Fran McCaffrey, as always, sponsored by your great Iowa John Deere dealers like Van Wall Equipment. Nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wall Equipment. Stop by one of their locations and learn how to farm better, work smarter, and play harder. You run with Van Wall and John Deere. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Coming up next for us, Bobby Hansen has his club car wash keys to a Hawkeye victory over the Northwestern Wildcats. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. What are you craving? The Wigan Pen in Ankeny across from DMAC is proud to be the home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza. The Wig has all your favorites, including Thin Crust and Chicago-style pizza. Appetizers, lots of sandwiches, pints of beer, plus a full bar. And this family-friendly local favorite is hiring. All ages are encouraged to apply from 15 to 115. Flexible hours and a fun environment? Call or just come on in. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny. What are you craving? Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Florin. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. 
About down to crunch time. The Hawkeyes and Northwestern from Welsh Ryan Arena. Let's get Bobby Hansen's uh, keen insight, his keys to the game, brought to you by the official car wash of the Hawkeyes Club Car Wash. With unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month, there's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. What do you got there, brother? Yeah, I got three keys, Jerry. Number one is Boo Booey. How are you going to handle him at the top? His fifth-year guy, all-time scoring leader here at uh, Northwestern, playing at an all-Big Ten, almost an all-American level. He can score from deep. He can drive it to the basket. He's good at dropping off to, for three-point shots. He's got a nice mid-range game, so he can single-handedly take over a game. So you got to get after him right from the get-go, Gary. No easy baskets for Boo Boo. We make him work. Maybe he tires at the end of the game. Second key is going to be the three-point line. Cats shoot 39% from deep, 42% during the Big Ten. So you, you got a lot of shooters. Boo, Martinelli, Langberg, if he plays, Barnheiser, are all very capable shooters. They're going to miss Ty Berry, but they got other guys. And you got to be there on catch. If you're in a zone, don't allow any open shooters. And when you're in the man-to-man, you got to fight over ball screens uh, to chasing Boo around. Don't leave him open from three. Third key is attack. Attack at all times. I would like to get the score in the high 70s into the 80s at 65 is a number northwestern wants to keep their opponents out of it you got to attack get them in foul trouble it's a short bench for northwestern it might go you know uh, to a long way toward victory if you can uh, get a couple guys in foul trouble bobby hansen's keys to the game courtesy of our friends at club car wash log on to clubcarwash.com our officials this afternoon are earl walton he's the head referee bill eck bill eck and kelly pfeiffer are the umpires there you have it now coming up in just a minute the farmer state bank tip-off of iowa northwestern we'll also run down the mid-american energy starting lineups that's ahead iowa northwestern about to begin this is hawkeye basketball from learfield you might think iowa grows corn but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe and a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. He's a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. 
Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy, look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Basketball. By your local Ford dealers and by Authentic Brand. Look and feel authentic because that's what your brand is. It's game time. Now to Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! Number four. And a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. Starting lineups for Iowa Northwestern are brought to you by Mid-American Energy. Mid-American makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. For the Wildcats, head coach Chris Collins in his 11th year, 20-8, and 11-6, third place in the Big Ten. They average 74 points a game, give up 69. Got some lineup changes here due to injury. Ryan Langborg is going to miss his second straight game. The transfer from Princeton, 13 points, three rebounds a game. Blake Smith, the walk-on, sophomore from Bluebell, Pennsylvania, at 6'6", 175, will start in his place. Boo Booey's out there, 6'2", all Big Ten grad student from Albany, New York. Boo's averaging 19 points, five assists. Nick Martinelli, the sophomore from Glenbrook South, down the road, 6'7". Out of Glenview, nine points, four rebounds. Nick Martinelli had a career-high 27 at Maryland the other night. Brooks Barnheiser, sharp shooting guard, the junior from Lafayette, Indiana, is averaging 14.7 rebounds. And in the post, 7-foot, 280-pound, Matt Nicholson, Matthew Nicholson, the senior from Clarkston, Michigan, 6.5 rebounds and shooting 65% from the field. So you know he hangs out around the rim. Uh, Blake Smith... I mentioned him. Uh, they will bring uh, off the bench. They'll bring Jordan Clayton, a freshman from Medford, Massachusetts, and Blake Preston, grad transfer from the Uni- University of North Carolina, Charlotte. For the Hawkeyes, no changes. Josh Dix and Tony Perkins will be in the guard court. Dix, the 6'5 sophomore from Abe Lincoln and Council Bluffs. What a role he's on. Another 20-point game the other night. Tony Perkins, the senior from Indy. Averaging 15 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Peyton Sanford coming off that triple-double. The junior from Waukee at 6'7 is averaging 16.7 rebounds. Iowa's leading scorer. Ben Cricky, another solid game for him the other night. He's one of my picks to click today. Averaging 14-5. And And Owen Freeman come home the 6'10", 230-pound freshman from Moline. 11.7 rebounds a game. Freeman will jump center with the seven-footer Nicholson. Earl Walton's ready to throw the ball up in the air for the Farmers State Bank opening tip. And we're underway. And Nicholson out jumps the youngster Freeman into the front court. Comes Boo Booey with the basketball. And the first look in the offensive end for Northwestern. They whip it around the perimeter. Blake Smith with it to the wing. Here's a drive inside. Four shot up and no good. Put back attempt, no good. Another rebound. Barnheiser, who took the first two shots. Bowie's open for three and hits it. Not the way you wanted to start the game. Off an offensive rebound. They could not get the first one there, and it was kicked out to Boo Bowie from about 25 feet and buries it straight on. He can shoot the three. That's step back or standstill three. So just like that, it's 3 nothing Northwestern off a pair of offensive rebounds. There's Sanford. Around the ring, into the corner to Cricky. Now to Peyton. He's open for three. Tie game. 
stuck it going to his left. That's his favorite move. Yeah, found nice find, though, too, by the Hawkeyes. Found Peyton open in the left wing and silenced this crowd. One minute gone, opening period. Tie game at three. Nicholson steps out. Boy, is he a behemoth, huh? He is a giant. Top of the circle. Freeman right out there with him. Here's Bowie turns the corner on Dix. Down to the corner for Smith. He's wide open. I don't know where Tony Perkins was, but Smith was wide open, and the three is good. Back-to-back -back threes to start the game by Northwestern. They shoot 42% from three. 6-3. Wildcats. Here's Cricky looking for an outlet. Gets it to Dix, and he stepped on the baseline. Great defense by Martinelli as he pinned Cricky down on the baseline. Yeah, Ben, pick up his dribble. You can't do that. you got to keep that dribble alive and reverse the basketball. Got stuck on the left side of the floor. First turnover by the Hawkeyes. 18-30 to play. Opening half. And Boo Booey trots into the front court with a basketball. Now leaves it to Barnheiser to Martinelli. Here's Nicholson, top of the key right. Now to the wing and Blake Smith who drilled a big three. Martinelli will try a three. That's no good. And the rebound tipped out to Northwestern. Kept it alive. Wildcats have another possession. Smith drives in, scores off the glass. Oh, Northwestern much more the aggressor here in the Another first few minutes. Offensive rebound, Jerry. That time tipped out, and they found Blake Smith, and he went hard to the basket. Fortunately, no foul called on Owen Freeman, but it's 8-3. Two minutes gone already. It's 8-3 Northwestern. Five of their eight points off second chance. Freeman, right wing for Dix. Covered up by Barnheiser. Northwestern's defense much better in the second half of the season. Sanford's open for three more. Splashdown. Peyton Sanford again going to his left in the left corner and reined it in. Keep shooting, Peyton, and a good find that time by uh, Tony Perkins, who found the, the cutter. Uh, Peyton Sanford that flared out to the left corner and buried it. That tightens it up. 8-6 Northwestern. Hawks need to get an off, a, a defensive rebound off the missed shot. Here's Smith to Nicholson, now to Bowie. Dix fights his way through the screen. Boo turns the corner on him. Thought about a step back three, goes inside to the seven-footer. Now a backdoor cut, layup good. Great pass by Nicholson. Martinelli, movement off the ball for yeah. Northwest. With the shot clock winding down too, Gary. Peyton Sanford lost Martinelli in there. He got an easy one. Tony Perkins throws up a jump shot in heavy traffic. Missed it. 10-6. Northwestern with the lead, three minutes into the first period. Bui walks it up wearing that number zero Northwestern in the all black uniforms with the gold trim. It's very much black and gold. Bui lost the dribble driving into the paint, got into heavy traffic, and now who's got the ball? I thought they should have blown the whistle way before they did, but in the pile up, Cricky and Bui tie each other up. It'll be Iowa basketball. Good effort by the Hawks in the post defense there. Great effort. They converged on the basketball, and uh, Boo Booey lost it, couldn't corral it. Ben Cricky goes down to the ground to scrum it out of there and smartly did not use a timeout. We had the possession arrow, so Hawks will have the basketball. 16-33 to play first half. Iowa down 10-6 to the Wildcats. Freeman inbounds to Tony Perkins. Jordan Clayton has come into the game for Northwestern. 6-2 guard. Blake Smith is out. Hawkeyes look to score. Perkins around a screen. Throws up a wild shot. Don't know if he got knocked off balance or not, but Tony, two tough shots here in the last two possessions. That one, he was looking for the get to the foul line, looking for the contact. No call. Nicholson buried him. Yeah, Nicholson hit him pretty good. But we play on. Barnheiser into the corner. Here's a three. No good by Martinelli. Had a wide open look. Long rebound comes to Perkins. Sanford leads the charge down the floor. Here's Freeman. Great move. Lays it up. No good. Gets his own rebound to Dix. No new shot clock. They're going to goaltend. Here's Dix. He tries a three right wing. Good. Three threes for the Hawkeyes. Two by Peyton. The first by Josh. As he likes uh, the first look he took. And it's 10-9 Northwest. All the Hawkeye points coming from beyond uh, the three-point stripe there. Coming from deep. The Hawks, three out of three. 15-35 to play in the half. Northwestern with the basketball. Nicholson takes the dribble into the corner to Boo Booey. Sanford has him on the switch. No shot for Boo. He gets a screen, brings it out, now throws it right back left of the lane for the big fellow Nicholson. Wrap around, knock away by Freeman, but the Hawks don't get the ball. Two to shoot, four shot up and no good. Rebounded by Iowa. Good defense 
Sanford outlets to Dix. Dix heading all the way to the basket. Drives in deep. Now back to Sanford. Sanford's open. Shot fake drives inside. Pull up jumper. Good. Iowa has its first lead, 11-10. That's good offense that time by the Hawkeyes who were patient. Didn't settle for the first shot here. Tony Perkins brought it around, reversed the basketball, found the hot hand. Peyton Sanford for the Duke. He's almost in double figures. Maybe another triple-double to follow up the one the other night in Iowa City. Bubui with a shot fake. Gets around Dix. Almost threw it away. Has a pass deflected. And now it is stolen away by Perkins. Northwestern pressing inside on the attack. Here's a catch by Freeman in the transition. A score off glass. What soft hands by Owen Freeman. And a foul called on Northwestern. And I will be shooting free throws when we come back. Hawks got down early. They've roared back now after being down 8-3. to three. It's a 10-2 run by the Hawks with 14.34 to play in the first half at Northwestern. Our opening tip, sponsored by the Farmers State Bank, earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch of Farmers State Bank or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. Hawks getting it done at both ends of the floor right now with a couple steals, a couple rebounds, and a 10-2 10-2 run on the Wildcats. Iowa is up uh, two. Excuse me, up three with a free throw coming when we return. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Iowa with the early lead, 14-34 to play in the first half. As the Hawks have a 13-10 advantage on the Wildcats on the strength of a, a 10-2 run. Wasn't a good start, but the Hawks are playing well now, Bobby. Well, they got the rebounds now. They got that under control, and uh, you got all five guys in the paint, and they're uh, getting it and starting your fast break run. That one, an uh, Owen Freeman run out to give the Hawks a four-point lead. Free throw. Owen makes the free throw. It's 14-10. Patrick McCaffrey in the game for Iowa. He's at the front of the 1-2-2 press. Wildcats get it into the front court. Barnheiser, tall, muscular guard, takes the dribble right wing. Now deeper to Martinelli. Back to Barnheiser. Martinelli drives in from the right wing. Jump hooks with the left hand. No good. Strong rebound by Freeman. Outlets for Peyton Sanford. Hawks trying to get the running game going. Peyton races into the front court. Now to a trailing Josh Dix. Thought about a three. Instead goes into the corner to McCaffrey. Bounce pass left of the lane for Freeman. He's back sent on backup Luke Hunger in the game. And he's double teamed and throws it away. Nope. It's, it's run down by McCaffrey to Perkins. And Perkins Out. is fouled hard. A shot fake by Tony. Got the defender in the air. And boy, let's hope he's okay. Man, man. Luke Hunger went for the ball fake and landed right on top of Tony. And when Tony moved out of the way, he landed squarely he on did. his tailbone. He's 6'10". That had, to, that had to hurt. Hawks get 20 back on the shot clock. After saving a turnover, Patrick McCaffrey, long arms, reached the ball before a defender did. 
Now Tony Perkins gets it inside to Peyton Sanford. His drive baseline right jump shot no good. Peyton uh, then gets called for a, a reach-in foul on Boo Booey. Peyton slow to get up. He hit the deck hard. A lot of contact. Should have been to the free throw line there, but didn't need to pick up that foul there by Peyton. Now 94 feet at the other end of the floor. 13.40 to play in the half. Peyton, good control of that body. He'll be all right. First foul on him. Hawkeye's first foul. Northwestern's been called for two. We play on. Iowa 14, Northwestern 10. Bowie, a nice crossover dribble. A lob and a layup. Missed by Hunger. Boy, Boo Booey created a great space inside on a crossover dribble. Here's Sanford back into the uh, front court to Tony Perkins. Drives and scores and a foul on Northwestern. Hawkeye running game bothering Northwestern right now, Bobby. Well, you knew it would if you can just get the rebound, Gary. That is the key to getting out and running and some defensive stops, rebound the basketball, and go. The Hawks are not going to wait for Northwestern. And with a short bench, you can uh, you get them a little tired here in this first half. Tony Perkins, a nice drive to the hoop and foul. He'll shoot one. That all started with Hunger's miss of a sure layup at the other end. And the opportunity created by Boo Booey's drive. Hawks get the rebound and a run out, and Tony Perkins with the and one. And the Hawkeyes are up 17 to 10. It's been quite a run here. 14 to 2. Iowa up 17 10. Here's Nicholson back into the game for Bravo. Throws to Bowie in the corner. Josh Dix is right there to meet him on the pass catch. Now Bowie tries to work the dribble crossover, double crossover, leans into the paint, shot up and good. Well, Josh couldn't defend him any better than that without no. fouling him. No, absolutely not. That is just good offense that time by Boo Booey. Got the little floater to drop. Hawks with a 14-2 run ends. Here's Perkins for three. Good from deep in the right wing. Right in front of the Northwestern bench. Hawks with four triples. Tony Perkins now with six points and it just up tempo and catching Northwestern a little bit slow. Hawks up eight, 20-12. Lodgy Dembele up off the bench. He'll come in. Freeman way out guarding Nicholson at the top of the circle. One bounce dribble. He uses it up. Now goes left of the lane. Barnheiser drives in on Dick. Shot up and good. They took advantage at 6-7. Barnheiser did of his size. Advantage on Dix. 20-14. Iowa's lead six. Sold out house here. Many black and gold wearing Iowa fans in the Chicagoland area. Dix into the corner to Tony Perkins. He's doubled. Back to Josh. 12 to shoot. Sanford for three more. This one's off the left of the iron. No good. 11.45 to play in the half. Northwestern walks it up the floor with Boo Booey. Dix to guard him. Now to Barnheiser. Iowa man-to-man and Owen Freeman going for the steal of the pass. Came over the shoulder blade of Nicholson and commits his first foul. You hate to see that 30 feet from the basket, but freshman mistake he'll learn from. Hawks have seven field goals and seven assists. That's sharing the sugar. Once again. 11.37 to play in the first half. Hawkeyes, after getting down five by five early, roared back with a 14-2 run and lead Northwestern 20-14 with 11 and a half to play in the period. Hawk fans, you can drive your team to victory this season. Fill up with unleaded 88 and quick rewards at any quick star location. That's right. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88. You'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prizes. Great prize packages throughout the season. Quick star, proud partner of Hawkeye basketball and set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter tune up your furnace seal up the drafts around your house and then visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy this is hawkeye basketball courtesy of wellmark blue cross blue shield from learfield basketball in the Big Ten Tournament. Travel Leaders Destination Unlimited has rooms available at the Marquette Hotel in downtown Minneapolis and an easy walk to the Target Center. This package is two-night hotel only on March 8th and 9th with an option to purchase additional nights. Go to DOHC.com to book now. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. 
Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Join Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter and Iowa men's basketball coach Fran McCaffrey for Hawk Talk live from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville's Iowa River Landing. Check out the schedule on HawkeyeSports.com. Back in Evanston, hot start for both teams out of the gate. The Hawks 20, Northwestern 14. 11.37 to play in the half. Iowa 7 of 12 with four three-point goals. Northwestern 6 of 12, two threes. Rebounding not much of a factor, uh, 6-5 Northwestern. That's because both teams are really hot. Wildcat basketball after the Iowa miss. Here's Bowie for three. Good. Going to his left. Brock Harding just into the game. Got there a little bit late for the shot release. And the game tightens up 20-17. to 17. Here's Perkins. High post right. Dembele now is in at the post for Freeman. Harding is on uh, the point. Price Sanford's into the game for brother Peyton. Here's Harding. A bounce baseline to Tony Perkins. Drives with the left hand. Great move. Misses the shot. Dembele with a rebound to Price Sanford. Big offensive board for Lodgy. Here's Harding in the corner. His three, no good. And the rebound poked away and a foul called on Trace Sanford. It looked like much contact there. It looked like he got all ball, but knocked the ball loose. That's what it looks like. Contact called on uh, Price Sanford, his first. That's three fouls on the Hawkeyes. 10.59 to play in the game. Boo Booey has two threes. Now to Nicholson. Thought about a third. Well, he's going to let go now. Hits another. Back to back. Seven footer. Set a screen on Harding. This freshman just learning how to fight through those screens. Hard to do when a 280 pounder is setting him. Tie game at 20. Back to back threes by Boo Booey. Here's McCaffrey for the league. Curls a jump shot in from the free throw line. Patrick turned around. He's wide open. And dropped it down from about 16 feet. Hawks back in front, 22-20. Call that the silencer. Shut yes. this crowd up. 10-20 to go first half. 6-9 Dembele trying to guard 7-foot Nicholson. Here's Barnheiser. Doubled. Throws it inside and a dunk by Nicholson. A miscommunication there. Yep. The silence blown right there. Lodgy went and double-teamed the ball. And the roll man Nicholson rolls to the basket. Easy dunk. Tied at 22. Perkins. Way out left flat. Crossover dribble to Harding. Harding gets into the paint. Jump stops. Now throws into the corner. Here's a three. No good. In and out by Price Sanford. Had a good look at it. Bowie clears the rebound for Northwestern. Wildcats look to regain the lead. 9.40 to play in the half. All tied at 22. Northwestern's led by five. The Hawks have led by as many as six. Or eight. Right wing pass. Now a baseline right drop down to Barnheiser. He drives in, sorry, Martinelli with a jump hook, that is, not Barnheiser. Lodgy with a clear out, off the missed jump shot. Here's Harding all the way to the basket, drives inside, and scores off the glass. Man, a lot of contact there that they let go. Sure looked like it could have been an and one. Yeah, it should have been an and one. A nice take by Brock Harding with the left hand, got into traffic in there, the bump, took it, and held, hung in the air, and knocks down his first hoop of the evening. Jordan Clayton all over him, and no call. Iowa regains the lead with 8.56 to go in the half. Bowie loses the dribble, gets it back. Now hands off to Martinelli. Martinelli, 27 points the other night at Maryland. Hook pass to the big fellow Nicholson. Inside, shot up and good. Nice ball movement by Northwestern. Barnheiser gets the easy set in over the smaller defender. Tie game at 24. Eight and a half to play first period. And a lazy pass by Tony Perkins is knocked away. Northwestern with a steal. Hawks couple turnovers. Barnheiser running out. He's fouled. Knocked to the floor by Dembele. And two free throws coming for, uh, I think that's Barnheiser. Barnheiser. Yeah, up off the floor. Brooks Barnheiser, the 6'6 junior. 
shoots 74 percent from the foul line. Josh Dix will come back in along with Peyton Sanford. 8.23 to play in the half. Barnheiser looks to give Northwestern the lead back. 24-24. Hawks and the Wildcats hooked up in a good one. A couple lead changes, a couple ties. Free throws good. Back for Northwestern comes Luke Hunger and Blake Smith, former or the walk-on. As Ryan Langborg is out with the sprained ankle for a second straight game. He and his 13-point average. Former Princeton star. Second free throw is good by Barnheiser. He's got four points. Hawks are down 26-24. Perkins out of the game. Harding will stay in and run the point. Gets it to Laji Dembele at the top of the circle. Backs the dribble out now to Dick's right wing. Peyton Sanford covered up by Martinelli. Peyton gets inside on him. Now he's doubled, throws it away. They double team Peyton, and uh, still Northwestern forces a turnover. That's three miscues on the Hawks. 7.54 to play in the half. Northwestern now with back to back turnovers on Iowa. 26 24. Wildcats with a lead in the ball. Defense is stiffened here. It's a pitch left of the lane for Barnheiser. Out top for Hunger. His three is no good. 6-10 guys shooting a three. Sanford rolls into the front court after the Iowa rebound. 7.30 to play first half. Hawks look to get it tied this trip and run into Harding comes uh, Luke Hunger. Hunger will get called for the blocking foul and Brock Harding took the contact. Timeout on the floor. The Hawkeyes will have the ball with 7.28 to go first half. Northwestern leading 26-24. Heart disease, it's the leading cause of death for men and women in the United States. You need expert care from specialists who know your heart condition inside and out. UI Heart and Vascular Center is advanced trained cardiologists that use state-of-the-art diagnostic tools. Make an appointment today at uihc.org slash hvc time out on the floor this is hawkeye basketball presented by walmart blue cross blue shield from learfield this is john hey my name is john jackson he's not some actor he's a steward of the land with a john deere three series tractor and a pto quick connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click john runs with us because to him there's nothing more important than connecting with the land Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. Hawks are down 26-24 to Northwestern as we reach the 728 mark remaining in the first half. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10-second ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Basketball. Iowa puts it in play down to Peyton Sanford, Brock Harding, Patrick McCaffrey, Laji Dembele, and Josh Dix on the floor. Harding gets around his defender, drops into the lane. A scoop layup, no good. Rebounded by Dembele. That's two offensive boards for Laji. He's open for three in the corner, passed it up, out top for Patrick McCaffrey. 13 to shoot. Peyton Sanford run into by Boo Booey, and then an air ball by Peyton. I mean, how much contact... <laughs> 
How much contact can one guy take before he gets a call? Peyton with a good head fake and a stop and go move, and Bowie runs into him. By then, Peyton had committed to the shot. And maybe he take just a second more when he saw his defender fall down, Gary. Gather yourself, pull your feet back, and bury it. So, Boo Booey brings the ball back for Northwestern. 26-24 Wildcats. Cricky and Owen Freeman will return at the next buzzer. And the whistle. There's Barnheiser backing the smaller dicks down. Gets into the lane. Jump hook is up and good. Three in a row for Barnheiser. 28-24. Hawks have gone two and a half minutes without a score. Three consecutive field goals for Barnheiser. And Northwestern back up by four. 28-24. Patrick McCaffrey dribbling out right wing to Peyton Sanford into the corner to Hardy. His set shot three is no good. Rebounded by Northwestern. Blake Smith running it down as it was a long rebound and he beat the Hawks to the basketball. Now Bowie he's behind the steering wheel. This guy he just starts everything. Step back. Now he drives in around Peyton. Shovel pass and a dunk. And Northwestern's on a run now, up six. Dunked by Blake Preston just into the game. 6'9 grad student from Charlotte. Here's Brock Harding with a catch left of the lane. Throws to the wing. Dicks for three. No good. Hawks missing shots. 30-24 Northwestern. Over the last four, the Hawks have can't hit. Got to get something going in the basket. Get to the free throw line. And Northwestern now looking to match its biggest lead or take its biggest lead I should say here's Bowie jump passes to Barnheiser on the wing pass left baseline for Preston he muscles his way in on Dembele and he's assaulted by Lodgy Preston 6'9 240 pretty apparent what Northwestern wants to do finding mismatches Gary yeah for sure it's working so two free throws now coming for Blake Preston just a 42% free thrower. 30 to 24, Northwestern. Iowa had the lead at 20 to 12 on a Tony Perkins three with 12 and a half to go. First half, and here we are seven minutes later. Northwestern has gone on a 19 to 4 run over the last uh, 650. 19 to 4. Got to find a way to That's stop Iowa it. offense. Man, man. That's good defense. One of two free throws for Preston. And the Wildcats have their largest lead at 7. 31 24. 505 to play first half. Here's Dix trying to get his way to the basket. Drives in on Smith. Step back jumper. Good. That way, at that time, Josh was under control the entire trip. Yeah, took him down low. Didn't settle for the three-point shot. Got into the paint area in his little step back a, a two-pointer mid-range game for Josh Dix. I believe that's his second basket. He's got five points. Iowa scores for the first time in a while. Can't touch it. Yeah, here's uh, Boo Booey. Lost the basketball. Re taken away by Owen Freeman, who, was, who hedged a double team at him. Dix scores for three in the other end. Turnover on North, a rare turnover on Boo Booey. And Josh Dix makes some pay at the other end. Five quick points for Dix, and it's a two point Northwestern lead. Good alert defense by the Hawkeyes. Once they saw Boo drop the basketball, he could not touch it. They went and retrieved it, and it was three on two fast break. Dix to three. Here's a standstill three, no good by Barnheiser early. Uh, in the shot clock, Tony Perkins with a, a rebound and a run out. Stop and go move. Gets left of the lane to Sanford in the corner for three. Good. And the Iowa Hawkeyes take the lead. Timeout, Northwestern. Wow. Not only, no sooner than we said the Hawks had gone almost three minutes without a score, then they run in, uh, what, eight lightning fast points, five by Dix and a three by Peyton Sanford. 8 0 run. 32-31, the Hawkeyes, 4-0-2 to play in the first half. I got a hunch this is the theme all day long. <laughs> runs here, runs there. I like Iowa when they get out and run like that. We need to see more of that. Hawk fans, well-marked Blue Cross Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, alley-oop, and buzzer beater. And well -mark is here, too, for every moment with trusted health care coverage. Committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. And as a proud sponsor of the Hawks, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. 
This is Hawkeye basketball, courtesy of Walmart, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oakville is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oakville.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeyes back in front, 32-31 on the strength of an 8-0 run. On the Wildcats at Northwestern, 4-0-2 to play first half. Bobby and I want to send our sympathies along to the McGrath family in Cedar Rapids. Uh, Pat, son Gavin, daughters Lindsay and Jamie, they lost the matriarch of the McGrath family about a week ago. Uh, Mary Kay McGrath, uh, so involved in the Cedar Rapids community, especially with the... Uh, Czech and Slovak Museum on the board for many, many years and involved many charitable causes in the, the Cedar Rapids Lynn County area. Our sympathies to the McGrath family. Gavin, a former linebacker at Iowa. Northwestern, seven to shoot. Here's a baseline drive by Martinelli. ricky has got them all tied up. Step back, jumper is good. Tough shot. Yeah, it was Man. a tough shot. It was all Martinelli on that. He never passed the ball one time, just dribbled it on the baseline. I thought Cricky stayed with him well, stayed down, but tough shot made by Martinelli. Iowa down 33-32, 3.18 to play first half. Here's Owen Freeman with a catch, a shot fake, and a dunk inside as the big fella Nicholson flew at him, and Owen just waited for him to that 7.47 to fly by, and yeah. he dunked it through. Great pass, though, great entry. Great feed. pass inside, great patience by the freshman Owen Freeman, and footwork, keep that pivot foot down and go up and dunk it. Here's a drive to the basket by Bowie. Throws to the corner. Wide open. Look for three. No good. Freeman with a rebound. Ripped away by Martinelli. And Owen restole it. But by then he was standing on the baseline. So he and Martinelli, like a brick of gold they were going after there. Good job. Good effort by Owen. But Northwestern keeps the ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 2.53 on the game clock. 34-33 Iowa. And they throw it out near the timeline to Martinelli. Well, they work it around the perimeter. Here's Jordan Clayton. Martinelli, Hawks are in a zone. Michigan played him in his zone, played him pretty even. Martinelli on a nice cut is fouled. Great pass by Clayton. Found a seam on the weak side of that zone. Weak side of the Northwestern offense. And Clayton and Martinelli were on the same page there. Unfortunately, the second foul picked up on Owen Freeman. I thought they were going to give it to Cricky, but... It went over here to Owen Freeman. Martinelli shooting two free throws makes the first. 34-33, 34-34 now. Martinelli at 74%. Now we're going to, uh, they're going to double check who that foul should be on. Franz claiming it's not. I had it on Cricky. Not on uh, Owen Freeman. All plays under review this season are brought to you by Athletico Physical Therapy. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by the Iowa Lottery. Play the exclusive Hawkeye scratch ticket from the Iowa Lottery. With nearly 2,500 retailers in the state, it's easy to find Hawkeye scratch tickets. Visit IALottery.com for details. Join the VIP club today. Iowa Lottery. Hi to Matt and the crew. In Des Moines, Martinelli. Makes both free throws. 
And Northwestern's back in front, 35-34. It was on Owen Freeman. Couldn't wish him into it, Bobby. You held on Cricky, but Freeman now will miss the rest of the half. 2.34 to play. Here's Dix. Dix and Cricky. Patrick McCaffrey. Tony Perkins and Peyton Sanford. Sanford had the hot start. Northwestern's got him identified. Here's Dix around his man. Shot blocked away. And out of bounds to Northwestern. Well, Josh did everything right there, but the long reach of Nicholson, the seven-footer, swatted it away. He'll block shots, no doubt about it. Leading shot blocker on this Northwestern team and stayed with Josh Dix. I thought Josh got enough just to get around him, but too long in the block. Boo Booey has Peyton Sanford on the switch. Backs him into the paint. Peyton does a good job of forcing him to give the ball up. Here's Barnheiser. Around Dix, baseline left, whirls into the paint. And there's Tony Perkins there for a double team. Seven to shoot. Oh, what a pass inside to a wide open Martinelli. He just, that's a practice layup. But Barnizer with eyes in the back of his head found the opening. 37-34 Northwestern. That's what happens, Owen Freeman's off the floor. You don't have that rim protector, big guy. Ricky banks one in, Ooh. right of the lane. Ooh, Lefty, yeah, we'll take it high off the window. Good job, Ben Cricky. Maybe that gets him going. One point Northwestern lead. 37-36 with a minute 25 to play till halftime. Entertaining first half. Boo Booey, who hasn't missed a shot. He's four for four. Here's a travel on Northwestern. Live ball turnover, unforced error on Jordan Clayton. He wasn't sure where he wanted to go with the basketball, the freshman. Four turnovers on the Wildcats. Yeah, that's a good job by the Hawkeyes scrambling uh, in the man-to-man defense. They double-teamed over on Boo, and they had to scramble off him and had a wide-open Martinelli in the left corner and fortunately traveled. Quickly, uh, Blake Smith up off the bench. He comes in for Clayton. Iowa basketball. Hawks can get the lead back with a basket. Here's Perkins leaning into the lane. Step back jumper. No good. Off balance. Jump shot. Tony missed it from 10 feet. Perkins 2 of 6 here in the first half. 11 points for Sanford. Leads Iowa. Dix has 8. Northwestern with a ball and a one-point lead. Here's Tony Perkins deflecting a jump pass by Nicholson into the seats. 14 to shoot for Northwestern. 51 seconds to go in the first half. Barnheiser will inbound. Barnheiser looking. Nobody home inside, so he just brings Nicholson out top. Right back to Barnheiser. He drives inside. Got away with a push-off. No foul, and he missed the jump shot. Just inside the foul line. Perkins all the way back for Iowa. Pop-up jumper in the lane. No good. Rebounded Northwestern. 36 seconds to go in the half. Tony, looks like he's rushing everything. Well, he's going two for one, Gary. The Hawks will get the basketball back. Seven different shot clock to game clock. 37-36 Northwestern. 22 on the first half. 14 on the shot clock. So about an eight-second differential. First and foremost, get a stop. Bowie's going to go one-on-one with Dix. Holds up high post right. Backs it out. Now to Martinelli with three to shoot. He drives inside. And shot clock violation. Boy, they passed up two open looks, Martinelli and Bowie. And Martinelli had a great drive going into the paint, then threw it into the corner uh, to uh, Blake Smith. And there was just about eight-tenths of a second remaining on the clock. And the shot clock violation gives the ball back to Iowa with six seconds to go in the first half. Nothing goes better with Hawkeye sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's hot dogs and sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. And here's one powerhouse lineup, two MVPs. Honda is the long-range threat with the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Always ready to go the distance at your central Midwest Honda dealer. Visit great dealers like my buddy Mark Zimmerman Honda and Moline. Say hi to Mark, Mike, Jeff, and the crew at Zimmerman Honda. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988-988 or chat 988-lifeline.org. Well, what's Fran telling him with 5.9 to go and a half? Get a good shot here, Gary. That's what he's telling him. And to get something going to the basket, uh, I don't think you need to throw it the length of the court, but you got to get into the hands of Tony Perkins and let him create and then maybe get an offensive rebound crash. Northwestern going to pressure full court. Pat McCa- Patrick McCaffrey will inbound. Oh, he missed Perkins. Now gets it to Dix, who's double teamed. Josh quickly across the front. The midcourt stripe and a foul. Northwestern had actually a couple to give. Hawks have 
Uh, doesn't matter. Iowa has 16 fouls. 2.3 seconds to go in the half. Northwestern has committed five team fouls. Now they can foul out the rest of the half if they want to. And foul Just one make, more time, two make, more times. Make, make sure you're in the act of shooting. Here's a pitch to Dix, to Sanford. A three at the buzzer. No good Ooh, off the front of the guy. rim. Well-designed play by Iowa. McCaffrey threw it over everybody into the far corner, or the near corner, to Josh Dix, and he immediately went to the wing to Peyton Sanford, who missed the three. 37-36 Northwestern at the half. Stay with us for the Bud Light Halftime Show. Buckeye Basketball is brought to you by Bud Mary's. We feature the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in the state of Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com and learn more. Iowa baseball coach Rick Heller will join us at halftime. We'll recap the first period. It sees Northwestern leading by one, 37-36. The Bud Light Halftime Show is next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and take to work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Gary Dobbin with Bobby Hansen, our engineer producer Corey Sheets. We're back at Welsh Ryan Arena in uh, Evanston where the Hawkeyes trail Northwestern 37-36 at the intermission. Bobby, six lead changes, uh, five ties. Uh, the Hawks led by as many as eight in the first half. Uh, Northwestern uh, on top by uh, seven after a nine-point run. The Hawks ran in 11 straight. Uh, that teeter-totter got going early. Uh, both uh, uh, the best shooters on either side were hot early on. As uh, Peyton Sanford hit his first two three-ball looks, Boo Booey hit back-to-back -back threes to start the game. Nothing really shocking. It's just two evenly matched teams are going back and forth. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the rebound numbers, Gary. That is very important in this game. Uh, Northwestern hold a two-rebound advantage, 14 to 12. Both teams taking good care of the ball. The Hawks just three turnovers, five uh, on Northwestern. It's Boo Booey that's uh, doing the damage uh, uh, offensively on the Hawkeyes. He's got. 11 points hasn't missed four out of four made all three of his three-point field goals he's got three assists for the Hawkeyes Peyton Sanford he's uh, on fire he's four out of eight three of six three-point shooting and Owen Freeman those two fouls hurt him let's take a look at the uh, Latham Seeds charity stripe recap for the first half how the Hawks do at the foul line well nobody got there a lot Iowa perfect though two of two Northwestern five of six advantage Northwestern in the first half that's a charity stripe recap courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds Hawks have a diverse combination of talent and at Latham High Tech Seeds you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com 
This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Car payments bacon you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now. Please. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. You don't have to go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. We're at halftime. Northwestern leads Iowa 37-36 in this Big Ten basketball bash. It's the Hawks and the Wildcats say been getting after each other a physical basketball game i have a little scoring by sanford's 11 and josh dick's eight we'll look at the high v stats in a minute uh, Iowa lost in baseball today to uh, Mississippi down in Oxford 12-5. Mississippi just a couple years removed from a national championship. Uh, the Hawks won 13-7 in last night's opener due in large part to another fabulous start by Brody Breck. Brody, the ace of the staff, expected to be a high major league pick uh, uh, come this summer, has thrown 15 and a third innings uh, to a 1.76 earned run average. He's allowed but eight hits and five runs total, three of them earned. 33 strikeouts and a 145 batting average against. He has been spectacular from the get-go. Uh, he was, uh, his decision to give up uh, football, he, he and his families, uh, knowing that baseball was his future. Here's Coach Rick, uh, Rick Heller. Yeah, I mean, his work ethic is off the charts. It's, it, he's the guy you have to slow down. Uh, I mean, he's... <laughs> He's the the guy that that is always looking for for more to do, and sometimes as a pitcher, um, less is more, and uh, not not overdoing it and putting yourself in a spot where you're you know, you're risking an injury. And so that was uh, uh, we had to deal with that a lot the first year and the second year. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have him, you know, we didn't have him in the fall and the off season. And um, the next thing is. Uh, how much of a competitor he is. I mean, he is an elite level uh, competitor and then channeling his football energy and adrenaline into a baseball mode where you're controlled and focused on the next pitch and being in control with your breathing and uh, being able to repeat over and over and over. Um, that was uh, a lot of the challenges that we faced those first two years when we didn't have him prior to the start of the season. And then, you know, the, Ultimately, and, and we've talked about this before, I mean, he was dinged up, um, you know, hamstring, thumb, whatever it might be, but he always came into our season not 100% yet, and 
So you basically have seen Brody limp through two seasons with just toughness and grit and competitiveness and the ability to really focus on improvement and uh, you know pitches and feel stuff and all those things that go with pitching didn't have a chance to do it. So um, this fall was was big for Brody and his development so that he could just focus on himself and what he needed to do to be a better pitcher. And um, it was pretty apparent in early September that having Brody go through the fall like the rest of the pitchers where you know we play some games and we're competing and people come to watch and scouts are coming to watch that um, as long as there were people there and it was another team, Brody wasn't going to change or get better at the things he needed to. He was just going to go back to what he knew and how to compete. And if that makes sense, so we, you know, uh, Coach McGrath and Brody decided they just shut down from that phase of baseball and they went into a completely uh, focused on Brody changing his movement patterns, getting into great shape, getting into great baseball shape. <clears throat> Uh, focusing on all of his pitches, developing a pitch, um, location, cleaner delivery, moving more efficient. Uh, and and they went to work, and man, uh, by Christmas, you were looking at a completely, completely different guy. It was exactly, from a baseball standpoint, what Brody needed. Rick Heller on his star pitcher, Brody Breck from Ankeny, that pitching staff. I was going to go as far as that starting pitching will take it. Uh, got to get it figured out as to who the closer is. And middle relief will improve as the season goes on. Hawks have one more game with Ole Miss tomorrow at noon down in Mississippi. We're at halftime here at Northwestern. Wildcats leading the Hawks by one, 37-36. This is Hawkeye basketball courtesy of Bud Light and the Bud Light Halftime Show. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. About ready to go to the second half. The Hawks hit 14 of 30 shots in the first half with six threes. Northwestern 14 of 25 with four threes. Wildcats by one, 37-36. Our stat recap courtesy of High V. Score big savings with the all-new totally free High V Perks membership. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that, too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, salads, and real ice cream shakes. 
burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hey, it's your friend, Social Media. You know, where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting because we all have struggles and challenges like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. Talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to. Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Hawks are down one as we go to the second half. Bobby Hansen has a John Deere sponsored interview with a assistant coach, Matt Gatens. Matt, this game uh, got off to a, a slow start for the Hawks, but you put a big run on them there. The game's been back and forth from that point. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, you know, it's going to be a game of runs, you know, especially on the road. So, uh, you know, that, they had one that we, we countered back, and now it's, you know, almost 0 0. So, um, just got to keep fighting. You got you to do a better job in the paint. You got to be a little more physical in there. You do a little bit better job on Boo. He's a really good player. We just got to do a better job um, limiting his touches and his good looks. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yep, thanks. Matt Gatens with Bobby Hansen, brought to you by your great Iowa John Deere dealers, including K.C. Nielsen and Lorenz. K.C. Nielsen, part of that great Iowa John Deere lineup across the great state, the Hawkeye State. Northwestern starts the second half with a throwaway, a turnover on the Wildcats. Iowa gets a break there, unforced error by the Wildcats. Now a chance to get the lead early in the second half. Perkins starts at the point guard. Josh Dix the off guard. Owen Freeman, Peyton Sanford, and Ben Cricky across the front wall. There's Owen Freeman driving hard into Nicholson. The seven-footer leans into the paint and lost the ball. Turnover Iowa. Each team with a turnover to start the second half. Sanford with 11. Dix with 8 to lead Iowa in that first period. Here's a pitch to the free throw line to Barnheiser. Hook pass into the corner. Wide open look for Martinelli, and it's short. Fortunately, he would never be more wide open. Dix runs the rebound down along the baseline. 37-36 Northwestern. We played one minute here in the second half. Freeman, high post right, steps out, greets a pass. Now to Peyton Sanford, chased by Boo Booey. To Tony Perkins on the wing, back to Peyton. He's covered up by Smith. Into the corner to Dix, who's open for three. Bingo! Josh Dix with Martinelli flying at him. Drills Iowa's seventh three-point goal. Uh, Dix has three of those. Pretty fine by uh, the, the Hawkeyes there. Dix uh, made himself available by floating to the left corner right in front of the Hawkeye bench. His third three-point field goal made of the afternoon. 39-37 Iowa. Hawks back in front. 18-24 to play in the game. Hopefully that's the start of a big second half. On the catch in the near corner. Martinelli can't get a shot off. Excuse me, that's Barnheiser. Backs the dribble in on Peyton Sanford. Step back jumper, no good. Rebounded by Northwestern and a foul on Iowa. Oh, brother, that ball line drived off the rim right to the walk on Blake Smith. And he's fouled on the putback attempt. Who was that? Shoot, too. They gave it to Owen Freeman, his third. Oh, brother. Oh. Second chance opportunities for the Wildcats there. Three throws up and good. 39-38. Iowa's lead is one. And here comes Owen back to the bench. He spent a lot of time there in the first half. Multiple minutes. And he's going to spend some more time there. Too bad. Young man from Bourbon A down the road. Second free throw is good by Smith. Oh, what a break for the Wildcats. That ball deadened right off the iron. 
And the reach by Owen Freeman. Lodgy Dembele comes and gets him. We're all even. Two minutes gone. Second half tied at 39. Perkins in a stare down with Blake Smith. Gets around him. High post right to Dembele. Shot fake. Lodgy jumps into the paint. Hits the hook. Hmm. Little jump hook. Soft jump hook. Nice play. That freshman is maturing more and more by the minute. And another fine play by Lodgy Dembele. That time just into the game. A spin move over the top of the big fella. Nicholson gets his first basket. Two and a half gone here in the second period. Iowa back in front. 41-39. Needing stops. Smith drives it into the paint on Cricky. Cricky shuts him off. Now Barnheiser gets the handoff. Shot good. Scoop layup up and in. Went right around Cricky. Hawks are running at the other end. Five on four. Perkins passes up the lane jumper. Finds Dix in the corner. And Josh Dix blows the smoke off that six shooter as he drills another three. 17-17 to play in the game. Northwestern had briefly tied up. Now it's 44-41 Hawkeyes. And Josh Dix at four out of five three-point shooting here in the game. Two for two here in the second half. And keep shooting, Josh. Keep getting open to it. Doing a nice job of getting behind the defense. Making himself available. He is a streak shooter. 14 points, 5 of 7 from the field. Iowa has 8 assists. Perkins, Tony Perkins has 8 assists. Three minutes gone on the second half. The important thing is the Hawks are up by three. Here's Bowie trying to tie it up with a three. A quick shot in the possession for Northwestern. No good. Perkins with a rebound. Cricky running to the other end. Here's Sanford. Shot fake. Gets in the lane. Pushes up. A shot from 10 feet away. And looked like a lot of contact on the forearm. And no whistle. Northwestern running to the other end. Boo Bowie stumbles through the lane. If that isn't a turnover. It is. <laughs> I think they called the turnover, though, that the ball glanced off him. Rand McCaffrey now telling his guys, look, just relax, relax. Let's get a good possession here. Yeah, starting to get a little bit crazy there up and down both teams. Lodgy Dembele will inbound to Tony Perkins. The Hawks now have the ball after a stop with a three-point lead. 44-41, 16-40 to play in the game. Perkins, he's got eight dimes to his credit, looking for more teammates. Has Sanford left wing. He's picked up by Martinelli. 16.30 to play in the game. Hands it off to Perkins. Two veterans. Belly with a cut through. They go weak side to Cricky. Jump hook. Good. Right of the lane. Nice shot fake by Ben. He rolled into the paint and scores from point blank range. He's got a knack for scoring, Gary. Just knows where the seam is in the defense. Found the open spot. Received the pass. And with that left hand, up over the top. Hawks back up 5. 46-41. Playing good defense. Here's Martinelli with a wing jumper. That's way off. Rebounded Sanford. Sanford. Weak side board. Up the far sideline to Cricky, who's in motion. Then shut off by Bowie on the switch. Here's Sanford. One bounce dribble right back to Cricky along the sideline. Really overloading that right side. Cricky drives into the paint. Throws to the weak side wing. Here's Dix. He's doubled. Somebody's got to be open. Cricky in the corner. Banging bodies with Martinelli. Rolls into the paint with five to shoot. Perkins for three. Corner. No good. Saint, uh, Sanford with a rebound. And he's bodied up on by either uh, Bowie. Bart, uh, Bowie or Barnheiser. Let's see who they give it to. We'll step out and come back and update it for you. The Hawks off to a good start in the second half. Leading 46-41. And with the ball when we come back. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Hi, Chef Grunder. Let's dive right into the machine shed. Fridays here mean all you care to have fried or broiled North Atlantic cod. Our try our bone-in seasoned catfish, lightly fried. More of a salmon lover? Choose between the machine shed's white wine sauce or apple bourbon glaze. Our sautéed savory shrimp will satisfy your taste buds with Old Bay seasoning and Asiago cheese. Join us this Friday for seafood worth savoring at the shed. Iowa 80 and Hickman Road, Urbandale, and Iowa 80 Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. 
True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Hawkeyes with a 10 to 4 run out of the gate here in the second half. Now lead Northwestern by 5. 46 41. 15 32 to play in the game. Iowa basketball and play resumes. Josh Dix with the hot hand. 4 of 5 from 3 and 14 total points. 11 for Sanford. A half a dozen for Tony Perkins, plus nine assists for Tony. Our stats are courtesy of hy V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free hy V Perks membership. What I like a, even better about Iowa's shooting stats is they've limited Northwestern to one for six to start the second half, Bobby. That's because of rebounding, Gary. They're not getting those kick-out threes here at the start of the second half. As you mentioned, a 10-4 start by the Hawkeyes. Uh, I love it. love it when these guys rebound and get out and run. Sanford to the line. Oh, Two. he was in the act of shooting. I uh, beg your pardon. I thought he was he collared the rebound, but they say he was going back up with it. Good job, Peyton Sanford. First trip to the foul line today. 18 of 19 the other night. And he drills the first one. Box up six. I was led by as many as eight. This would give him a seven-point advantage. Looks good and is good. Peyton Sanford with his first points of the second half. He's got a dozen. 48-41. The Hawks streak away to a seven-point advantage. And Northwestern on the attack. Boo Booey, a stop and go move, gets a screen from backup center. Hung Luke Hunger. Nicholson turned an ankle. That's why he's on the bench. Here's a jump hook. Good left of the lane. Nice move by Nick Martinelli on one one left hander on the other. Cricky. Been bodied up on him pretty good, but. Martinelli made a heck of a play. Five minutes gone, second half. Iowa's lead is five. Cricky has a smaller boo-booey on him. Shoots over the top and scores. Mm -hmm. Ben knew what to do with it. Yeah, he looked like he's coming alive. That's six points now for Ben Cricky. And with Owen Freeman on the bench, we need a ton of scoring out of Ben here, second half. 14-46 to play, 50-43. The Hawks back up seven. Barnheiser to Martinelli. Martinelli has 10 points for Northwestern. Here's Barnheiser in low. Misses the jump shot. Right of the lane. Lodgy Dembele battling for it. And he and Martinelli hit the floor. And it's out of bounds to Iowa. Lodgy Dembele throwing some punches out there. Throwing that weight around. Throwing that body around as well. And just mixing it up and creating chaos in there. And Lodgy going to work. 13 and a half to go. Dembele inbounds to Perkins. Dix, Cricky, and Peyton Sanford. Join them out on the floor. Northwestern with Blake Smith guarding close. Tony Perkins. Tony gets away from him, drives inside, misses the running jumper, and a foul called on Iowa. They're going to get Dembele over the back. I believe of Martinelli, he or Barnheiser. It's three. Three on Lodge. Doesn't take him long to mount up the fouls. He's very aggressive and thoroughbred out there, a little bit out of control, but. Boy, you got to love his heart and the effort that he gives. He and Owen Freeman both. Here, here. Two, two freshmen, stars in the making for the future of Iowa basketball. Northwestern comes back with it. Bowie to Barnheiser. Now to six foot nine, Luke Hunger. He's 245 pounds. Martinelli in the near corner. Back to Hunger. Way out deep now, left wing for Boo Booey. Works a dribble in on Peyton Stanford. Gets around him. Throws inside. Now to the corner. Wide open look for three, and it's good. Brooks Barnhazer. All he had to do is make the shot. Bowie and Martinelli made the play. Draw a lot of attention to Bowie does when he got into the paint in there. All five Hawkeye defenders converge on him. Kick out the Barnhazer for the three. Dix with a high bounce dribble for the Hawkeyes. They hedge a double team at him. And here's a blocking foul called off the ball on uh, Northwestern. They're going to get Blake Smith for crowding Peyton Sanford. Second team foul on Northwestern. The Hawks have been whistled for three. We're six and a half minutes into the second half. Iowa leading 50-46. Underneath out of bounds for the Hawks. This is Fran McCaffrey specialty. Perkins with a lob into Cricky, and he's held by Jordan Clayton. 
So two quick personals on Northwestern. Iowa will keep the ball underneath out of bounds. Team foul number three on Northwestern. Perkins again to be the trigger man with Boo Booey right in his kisser. And here we go. Tony, same play, lobs it into Cricky. He's got a bigger man on him now. Ben, reverse dribble into the paint. Elevates high and knocks down the 10-footer. With oh, a six God. foot nine. Luke Hunger right in his right in his nose. Not sure how he saw the rim, but he just has a sense of where it's at. Put it up there. Cricky now with eight. Streak shooter has been Cricky. Old lefty has knocked down back to back shots. Here's Bowie. Drives around the entire Iowa defense. Started out middle of the court went left high post and then streaked to the basket for a layup he did there all the hawkeyes looking over to the left and thought he was going to kick it out to the shooters but this red sea just parted right there and he went right down the middle for the layup both teams scoring at will here 52 48 iowa 12 50 to play in the game perkins between the legs dribble gets inside now throws it back out top for dicks he drives in and misses the running layup attempt but a foul called on northwestern Josh with a great move, just couldn't quite talk it down, but he'll get two free throws. Yeah, get a, a good aggressive move, and that's what you need against Northwestern all afternoon here, is just attack off the dribble. These guys don't play a lot of players, but he's going to get him in foul trouble, gets in the free throw line. Two coming for Dix, who's an excellent free thrower. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Wimmers at the Gamer at Home. Wimmers premium quality hot dogs and sausages. Score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmers, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Josh makes the first and the second. And the Hawks, perfect on the afternoon, six of six. From the foul line, Northwestern, seven of eight. We play on. Hawks back up six, 54 48. Bowie circles right wing, now center of the floor, leaves it for young Jordan Clayton. Left wing for Bowie, he's covered up by Dix. He wanted to throw up a three, now they give him a screen. He gets inside, shoves off with an elbow, no call there. Rebound tip, McCaffrey to Sanford. Here's Perkins streaking to the other end of the floor. Now throws to a trailing Sanford, his three, good. What a play by Tony Perkins. Under control. The, the dribble drive was taken away, but he spun away. He knew where Peyton Sanders was going to be right in front of the Hawkeye bench. Peyton drills another. 11 assists for Tony Perkins. Peyton Sanford now with 13 points for the Hawkeyes. And Iowa has its biggest lead at 9, 57 48. There's a high post right drive by Martinelli into the corner. A three is no good by Rebound. Clayton. Rebounded by Peyton Sanford. This fire it has Northwestern on its last two long jump shots. Sanford slows things down, gives it to Perkins near the midcourt stripe. 11 and a half to play. Hawks up nine. 57 48. Tony gets in deep again, left of the lane. Now circles back out to the wing. 10 seconds to shoot. Perkins now starts back inside, leans in, step back. Jumper is good. Tough man, Tony. Tony the Tiger. Nowhere to go with the basketball. They were covering up everybody on the perimeter. It was just a one-on-one. -on -one. Tony Perkins on Luke Hunger in there. And Tony, big-time shot there to fall away. Hawks have the Wildcats on the run for the moment. And Chris Collins, understanding how potent this Iowa offense can be, calls a timeout, 11-15 to play in the ball game. And Iowa leads it 59-48. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Wellmark. The exciting moments, proud moments, even the hard moments. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more affordable, with more choices for care and peace of mind, no matter what comes your way. Find the right plan for you at wellmark.com slash hoops. Wellmark brings you more Hawkeye basketball in just a minute from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. 
Hey, Iowans, Luca Garza here. For me to get to the NBA, I've worked on my speed, precision, and my shot. For you to get to the NBA, all you need is the Iowa Lottery. First, play bonus multiplier scratch tickets, and you could win up to $100,000. Then, enter non-winning tickets for your chance to win a VIP suite experience with the Minnesota Timberwolves, including food, hotel, and $1,000 cash. Plus, center court seats to see the Iowa Wolves. Enter today and see rules at ialottery.com slash VIP. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? No way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team, visit shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Hawkeyes have broken away to an 11-point lead. We all know that with a three-point shot on the road, that's nothing. But uh, the Hawks are playing as good as they have all afternoon, and they play pretty good start to right now. 11-15 to play Iowa, 59-48. The Hawks have broken away from a tight game. as 41-39, two minutes into the second half. Iowa now leads at 59-48. 8 of 11, the Hawks are coming out here in second half shooting, Gary. 3 of 4 from three-point uh, land. A couple of those by Josh Dick, Peyton Sanford, the other. Northwestern basketball and play resumes. Guard boo. Brooks Barnheiser inbounds to Preston. We've not seen Nicholson come back since he turned that ankle early in the second half. Martinelli gets around McCaffrey. Shot up, no good, but a foul on Patrick. Tough guard for uh, Patrick. and He had him just keeping down the baseline. Had him pinned on the baseline, and then a quick reversal by Martinelli has him draw two free throws from Patrick McCaffrey when we come back. 11.07 to play in the game. We played through seven ties, seven lead changes, and the Hawks in front 59-48 on a big run here in the last, call it six minutes. Hey, now's your chance, Hawk fans, to make a difference. Join the Swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball program serving charities in eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, proud sponsor of the Hawks. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Basketball in the Big Ten Tournament. Travel Leaders Destination Unlimited has rooms available at the Marquette Hotel in downtown Minneapolis and an easy walk to the Target Center. This package is two-night hotel only on March 8th and 9th with an option to purchase additional nights. Go to DOHC.com to book now. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawkeyes in front, 59-48. Welcome back to Welsh Ryan Arena in Evanston. The 11.07 to go on the game. Iowa with an 11-point lead. It's biggest of the game after seven lead changes and seven ties. Trying to get Dr. Ben out in North Liberty a, a birthday present. Passionate Iowa Hawkeye fan. Tunes into all the games. Ben, happy birthday to you. Dr. Ben in North Liberty. Hawks send out Cricky, Dix, Sanford, and Patrick McCaffrey. Sanford and Dix each with 16 points. Tony Perkins, 8 points, 11 assists. Mm. Cricky with 8 points, and 
Ben's just heating up. Right now, though, we've got Northwestern free throws. Martinelli went to the baseline side down there, fouled by Patrick, and uh, he's a tough guard down in there because he's left-handed. Made his only two free throws today until now. He's made his third. One more coming after the foul on McCaffrey. 59-49 Hawkeyes and 59-50. Martinelli calmly drops two through. He's got a dozen. You got it. Dix works the dribble into the front court. Screen from Cricky. Now holds up. And on the switch, he's got the big man, Preston. Step back, jump shot. Easy money. Automatic. Now that... <laughs> I mean, Blake Preston at 6'9", 240, did all he could to stay with Dix, but that patented step-back, laid-out jump shot gives uh, Dix 18 with 10 and a half to go in the game. Right from the free-throw line area. That is his spot. Hawks back up 11. Here's Martinelli. You know, Boo Booey, oh, he's out there now. I thought he was on the bench. He's back out there after a brief rest. Here's a pitch inside to Barnheiser. He just shoves Peyton Sanford out of the way and goes up and scores. Posted down low and... Peyton just let him go. Peyton's got a couple fouls. 61-52. And a holding foul called on Northwestern. They're tightening things up a little bit. Jordan Clayton picks up his third. Tony Perkins with a nice crossover move. Uh, beat him off the dribble and was heading to the basket. He was. And that's a tough guard for that young guy. He's going to come out of the game. I think he's a walk-on in there, but uh, five team fouls on Northwestern continue to attack and put pressure on him. Get to the free throw line here. Still 10-14 to play in the game. It'd be nice to get to the bonus early. Perkins handling the basketball. Gives it to Peyton Sanford. Stop and go move. He gets to the basket. Missed the layup. Oh, he was anticipating contact from behind, and Peyton just didn't finish the shot off or the layup attempt. Ten minutes to go. Here's Bowie. Keep your hands in his face, Josh Dix. 61-52. Bowie drives deep into the paint. Double team. Here's Smith with a leaner and scores with a left hand. Flipped it up there and it went in. A little home cooking for Blake Smith. Northwestern back to within seven. 61-54. Back-to-back baskets for Northwestern. Cricky. Go to work, Ben. He had the hot hand here early in the second half. Drop down pass to Perkins. He muscles his way in. Shot blocked away. Run down by Perkins in the corner. Still 10 on the shot clock. Here's McCaffrey to Perkins. Tony's going to have to get rid of it. Does and misses the three. McCaffrey tips it out to Dix. Free possession for the Hawkeyes. Dix trapped in the near corner. Slides a pass. A bounce feed to Cricky left of the lane. Now to Dix. Back on the wing. Right back inside to Cricky. 9.03 to play. Ben, shot fake, drives inside, and misses the shot. Back-to-back -back layups missed by Iowa. Oh, man. Ricky knocked down. Here's Bowie shooting a three in transition. And score. Timeout, Iowa. My goodness. Tough break right there. 61-57. We'll keep it right here. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. 988lifeline.org. Boy, Sanford and Cricky worked so hard to get those open layup looks and just didn't finish it off. Yeah, anticipating contact, I believe, Jerry, in there. Peyton got by his guy, but uh, not got hit on the backside a little bit, but just missed that one. And then Ben kind of stumbled into that move again there. It could be contact in there, but they've been letting them play all afternoon. 8.48 to go in the game. Owen Freeman comes back in with those, what, three fouls? Three fouls. Owen's got Owen's to play smarter. He knows that. They've missed his offense and, and rebounding today. Northwestern has out, been out-rebounded by the Hawks. Northwestern's at a minus four on the year rebounded. Hawks are leading by four boards. And that'll be big before this day is over. So the Hawks... After the timeout, and the lead is melted from 11 to 4, 61 57. Perkins, Sanford, Dix, Freeman, and Patrick McCaffrey. There's Owen. He's taking it right of the lane, drove in on. Now they double team Freeman, and he's tied up. Jump ball, and it'll stay with the Hawkeyes. Owen Freeman mm. didn't see the double team coming. Hunger. Boo Boo, he snuck in behind him, Gary, and knocked oh. that thing loose. Boo Boo has been sneaky for all <laughs> yeah. five years here at Northwestern. What a player. Finalist for 
semifinalist for a number of National Player of the Year awards. And uh, he is so deserving. 8.33 to go in the game. Iowa keeps the ball. 14 on the shot clock after the double team and tie up on Owen Freeman. Now they chase the Northwestern coaching staff back to the bench. As they got a traffic jam at the high post. Tony Perkins looking for an open teammate. Can't get it to McCaffrey. Now a bounce and a layup and a score by Josh Dix. What a shifty move by Josh, Josh Dix. A head fake to the sideline and cut back to the middle, and Tony hit him with a perfect pass. He's just getting better and better with every game, Gary. He kept moving on that one. Bowie for three more. Good again. Deep on the left wing, and here comes Boo Booey. Iowa is uh, a foul called on Bowie. He jumped in front of Patrick McCaffrey, which shut down the Iowa break. Three-point game. Iowa 63, Northwestern 30. After the exchange of baskets, Dix worked hard to get the layup, and then Boo comes down, and another step-back three rainbowed it in. Yeah, that was from deep uh, out there. That was Caitlin Clark range. And Hawks just, Peyton Sanford just shakes his head in amazement, and Boo Booey took a shot in his wrist, and he's holding that left wrist right he's now. Five of six from three, seven of ten from the field, and 19 total points. Mm. 15 for Barnheiser, a dozen for Martinelli, nine for Blake Smith, the walk-on. Who's all right? He just wanted an extra minute. Now he wants a towel to I got a wipe stinger. the hands off. Numbed it up. It's like an extra timeout. 8-10 to go in the game. Iowa trying to keep the lead. And it comes to Freeman. Back to Tony. You're not going to hurt Boo Booey. He's too tough. Perkins. Looking inside for Freeman. Drives it in himself. And scores off the glass. Mm -hmm. Muscled it up through a double team. That's how. That's what strength's all about right there as Iowa goes back up five. 65-60, and Tony now in a double-double. He's 10 points, 11 assists. Here's Barnheiser, a stop and go move. Gets around Peyton Sanford, and Sanford fouled him. Looked like pretty good defense. Timeout on the floor, 7-41 to play in the game. Tony Perkins' basket has given Iowa a five-point advantage, 65-60. Let's pause. 10 seconds for station identification. 10-second ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. They're tuned in in Burton and Brooks. Berkeley and Burt, Belmont and Beach, Iowa. Little railroad stop out there in the middle part of the state. Hi to everybody in B-E-E-C-H, Beach. They're enjoying the game like Bobby and I are. 65-60. Hawkeyes hanging on to this five-point advantage with 7.40 to play in the game. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. When the game goes into overtime, But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Nestled on the rolling greens of the iconic Finkbine Golf Course, Bump's Restaurant is open to the public year-round. Whether you're swinging by after a round of golf or just in the neighborhood, Bump's is your go-to spot for scrumptious sandwiches, shareable appetizers, and mouth-watering pizzas. Quench your thirst with our selection of local craft beers. Or let our full bar serve you a refreshing cocktail to toast to your game. Or just because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. is the perfect 19th hole. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch our latest daily specials. And here's a little insider secret just for our radio listeners. Thursdays are not to be missed at Bump's Restaurant. It's BOGO Happy Hour. Buy one, get one free on select beverages from our happy hour menu. Whether you're a diehard golfer or just love a great meal with a view, Bump's Restaurant at Finkbine Golf Course is your destination. We're currently open Wednesday through Saturday. Swing on by today. Bump's at Finkbine Golf Course. Great food, great drinks, and the best views in town. See you at Bump's. 
The wheel of a basketball game. Iowa Northwestern. The Hawks have the lead 65-60. 7.40 to play in the game, and at the uh, foul line for Northwestern, Brooks Barnheiser, 75% on the year. Both teams, very good free-throw shooting teams. Hawks at 78%, almost 79, leads the Big Ten. Northwestern at 75, and lucky number 13 at the line on his jersey, Brooks Barnheiser. He's been quite the find for Chris Collins. Lafayette, Indiana. Let's see, who's in Lafayette? Purdue. The Boilermakers. Yeah, he gets both free throws. Played for his father there. At the high school, I believe. Arnheiser with 16. Makes them both. Again, a three-point eye of the 65-62. Dix, Perkins, Sanford run a three-man weave out top. Perkins now drives inside into the corner to Dix. He drives into the paint. Spins. No shot. Gives it to Freeman. Freeman drives inside. Lost the ball. And it hit off the Northwestern Wildcat and then hit behind the square, the backboard. So it'll stay with Iowa with nine to shoot. Freeman drove into heavy traffic. He's trying to get his motor going, having sat on the bench most of the day and with foul issues. I know you've heard that before. Out it comes to Sanford. Peyton goes to his left. Three-point shot, no good. Tricky. Couldn't quite get his hand on the rebound, and it's out of bounds off of Ben. A stop for Northwestern with 7.15 to play. Barnheiser up on their own end here. Hawks need one. Blake Smith. Luke Hunger is at the post. Nicholson's not returned the seven-footer since turning an ankle early in the second half. There's a pitch baseline right to Martinelli. Goes around. Cricky lost the ball. And it's out of bounds. To who? Iowa. Men in gold. I didn't see it. He just okay, kind of now, stumbled through there. Yeah. Yeah, he, he made a great move along the baseline and just didn't take the ball with him. Turnover Northwestern. It's a half a dozen and a seven. Make it seven on the Wildcats. 650 to play. 65-62 Hawkeyes. Sanford. Bullet pass in the paint. Dix posting up on Bowie. Turn shoots and misses. Freeman over the back. No call. Owen got away with one there. Northwestern had it walled off. Here's Bowie back for the Wildcats. Dix right in his jersey. Now Boo backs the dribble out, then goes right around him. Was stripped by Cricky on the way up. Here's Dix with a rebound. Tony Perkins at the other end and misses the dunk. Got it. Cameron Caram's out to Peyton Sanford, and the Hawks keep the ball. Oh, he was going to bring the glass and the rim down, and flat missed it. Canned it off the back of the iron. Now Dix hits the 17-footer. Josh Dix. Wow. Says, I'll bail you out, partner. Don't worry about he it. Tony turns to Dix. He says, thanks, man. That patented fall away 15-foot jumper at the free throw line from Josh. We're watching uh, quite the development story right before our eyes in Josh Dix. 22 points. He's hit 8 of 11 shots. And the Hawks are back up 5 with a big basket. Bowie rifles a pass into the corner. Bonheiser oh. hits the 3. Man, man, oh, man. Now the Hawks are racing to the other end. Oh, Ricky is flagrant. fouled. Flagrant. Hard. As Barnheiser hit the three and then stood there admiring the shot. And his man, Cricky, got down the floor. And a foul called on Northwestern. Was it on uh, Hunger or? 13. Oh, that's Barnheiser. Barnheiser. So Barnheiser caught up and really laid the lumber on uh, Ben Cricky. We'll see if it's a flagrant or not. I was walled off or screened out by the Iowa coaching staff. Did you see it, Bobby? I yeah, he not. was hammered hard over the head, and that's where they're going to be the violation is that excessive contact above the shoulder. 67-65, Iowa with a two-point lead as Cricky was going in for the dunk. And all replay reviews are brought to you by Athletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. All right, we're going to get a look at it. Whammo. Elbow to the back of the head. Uh, and his hip also got the side of his head, looked like to me. Oh, he was going up to block the shot. And uh, there's a lot of contact. I don't know if it's enough to be a, a flagrant or not. We'll see. Yeah, that's hitting him pretty hard up high, Gary. That's a new rule. 
The old days, no. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Barnheiser, right who there, just hammer hit, down. Just stroked the three and then was late getting back in that Iowa run game. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by our friends at Iowa Corn. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series, Iowa Corn promotes values uniquely Iowa. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination, both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. We continue to review it. Now the officials are huddled up and talking. Earl Walton is the crew chief. And it doesn't look, like, foul. doesn't look like anything other than a common foul. All right, Cricky, make these two. Making the explanation to uh, Fran McCaffrey, and he says, okay. Kelly, I he made go. a play on the ball, he said. All right, made a play on the ball. Well, Ben has cleared the cobwebs. Now he's shooting two free throws. 75% free thrower makes the first. Cricky's been big here in the second half. Got nine. This would put him in double figures with Peyton Sanford and Josh Dix. Second free throw good. Hawks are back up two possessions. 69-65. A lot of time. Five and a half to go. Boo Booey. Walks into the front court. Hawks in his own. Perkins and Dix out top. Along the back line, it's Sanford, Freeman, and Cricky. Here's Barnheiser throwing his weight around in the paint. Muscles in on Tony Perkins, misses the shot. Rebounded by Freeman. Knocked away by, by uh, Martinelli. No call. Fortunately, the ball went right to Cricky. Now, uh, here's Freeman inside. Scores off the glass. Boo Booey had no chance. Looked like Freeman was going to go in for the two-head tomahawk, and Boo just got out of his way. What a pretty play by the Hawkeyes. A little give and go, a little screen, high action. Tony Perkins and Freeman. Freeman rolled through the basket, and nobody home but Boo. The shorter Hawks, guy. Hawks back up 6, 71, 65, 448 to play. Booey's held. A little double move by Boo Booey. Boy, he likes to throw that head back and shoulders, doesn't he, when he gets in contact with the opponents looking for the foul, and he gets his share of them. Tony Perkins commits the personal, not a shooting foul, and Tony's first. That's 16 fouls on Iowa. Northwestern has committed the complimentary seven, so the Hawks, both teams will be shooting free throws from here on out. Here's Hunger, misses the jump shot right of the lane. Big fella hasn't played all that much. Hawks are running. Sanford all the way to the basket. Left hand off the glass and good. And the Hawks got it in fourth gear now of that running game. How about that? He's coming right at you on, on a full head of steam going downhill. Peyton Sanford with the left hand. That Honda overhead cam is, is in full fast forward mode. 429 to go in the game. Northwestern has to call a timeout. The Hawks now have scored six quick points to stretch a two-point lead to eight. 73-65, four and a half remaining. Come back with us to Welsh Ryan Arena in Evanston after this commercial timeout to hear from our good sponsors, including Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. 
nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. So hard to win on the road in the Big Ten. The Hawks are trying to get it done today. Northwestern has lost one game at home here at Welsh Ryan Arena. After a big road victory at Maryland, the Wildcats with 20 and 8 on the year, 11 and 6 in the Big Ten, receiving votes in both the coaches and AP poll this week. Due in large part to guard Boo Booey. He recently became Northwestern's all time leading scorer with 2,062 career points. He's averaging 18 and a half coming into today. He's got 19 to this point. But Iowa has the lead at 73-65 as the Hawks have cranked up the running game. Yeah, they really have. And uh, you've seen a tired Northwestern team a little bit as they don't play too many guys. They've been on the court a lot of minutes there. And the Hawks been able to rotate fresh bodies in and out. Nolan Freeman didn't play a ton of minutes in the first half. Hawks, uh, or Northwestern with one timeout remaining. Iowa has two. 426 to go in the game. Hawks will sit zone. We've got another official timeout coming at the under four. Iowa in that zone. Here's a wide open look from the corner. A three is no good by Barnheiser. The rebound lost by Martinelli to Owen Freeman. Tony Perkins to Peyton Sanford. Sanford with 18. 22 for Josh Dix. 10 for Perkins with 13 assists. Fox spread the floor. They wonder four minutes to play. Dix looking inside. Had Freeman then couldn't get him the ball. Nine to shoot. Dix around a Peyton Sanford screen. Five. Got Blake Smith on him now. Josh, that step back jump shot, no good. Just off the front of the iron, rolled off the uh, left side of the rim, and Northwestern gets the stop. Boo Booey back for Northwestern. Perkins takes a swipe at the dribble, misses. Hawks camped in that 2 3 zone. Three and a half to go in the game. Iowa up 73 65. There's a corner three on the way by Martinelli. Good. Wide open look. They're not getting those corners covered. And Northwestern with good shooters and Martinelli. He's 31% from three. That tightens it up a little bit. 73-68. Iowa's lead chopped back to five. Sanford had a quiet second half. Had a big basket a moment ago on a drive. Now he looks for help in an outlet. Gets it to Dix. Three minutes to go. Dix. Double teams flying everywhere. Here's Freeman inside. Turn scores off the glass. Wow. And I'm telling you, Blake Preston has no chance. He's in there for hunger. That's what you miss when Freeman's on the bench. That look to the middle, spin back to the baseline. He lays it in off the square. Again, a high screen roll, rolled right to the basket, got it, and made a nice under control move. The holding foul on Iowa is the grab on Boo Booey will put him at the foul line. 75 68. Iowa leads it by seven. I didn't catch who that foul was on, Bobby. It's on Dix. Dix. His just, first. His, just his first. One and one. How does this guy play so hard? And that's his first foul. Moves I mean, his feet. He keeps his hand out of there. Yeah. Bowie's at 86% on the year. Makes the first. Gets the friendly deadened roll off the rim. In front of the iron and crawls through. 75-69. Iowa's lead six. Boo Bowie with... And even 20 points. It's his first free throw. Second one, no good. Okay. One for two. Hawks up six, 2.38 to go. They can take it down to near the two-minute mark. Perkins pressed out near the timeline. Drives into a double team. Lost the ball. Lost the dribble. Here's Smith with a run out and a dunk. And the Hawkeyes have taken such good care of the basketball. Just their fourth, fifth turnover on the day, but boy, was that a big one. 75-71, 2.09 to play in the game. Iowa's lead is four. Settle in, men. Come back strong. Franz wants movement. Here's Owen Freeman. Drives into the paint to Cricky on the wing. Hook pass, baseline, back cut by Josh Dix. Turn, shoot, score! The fall away. Josh Dix, cold-blooded. Another to add to that career high. He's got 24 now. 77-71. Bowie for three. It's good. Are you kidding me? Nobody picked him up. He just drifted to his left. The zone sank. Is that good? Oh, my goodness. 77-74 with a minute and a half to go.
Now a one possession game. Northwestern 10 threes and 20 attempts. Unbelievable. Unconscious Boo, Bowie. by Boo. So the Hawks take the shot clock down to 10. Here's Sanford driving left baseline all the way and he Got scores it. and it's foul. The big fella gave him just enough room along the left baseline to slide past those size 16s. And then once uh, Preston realized he had, he was beaten, he just reached and fouled Peyton. The shot goes in and Sanford with a chance for the conventional three-point play as Patrick McCaffrey will come in. 109 in regulation remaining, and Iowa back up 5, 79, 74. Shot clock winding down. Peyton realized it, and that little hesitation move, come back to the middle, and then he went hard on the baseline, squared the shoulders up the foul on Preston. The basket made by Peyton. Peyton's got 20. Free throw, give him 21. Sanford a perfect 3 for 3. Peyton. Add in the 18 of 19 the other night. Man, is he on a roll from the foul line. Boo Booey quickly back down the floor. One minute to go in regulation, and Iowa leading 80 to 74. What's this now? Kelly calls it holding foul on Josh Dix on Boo Booey. Wow. All this contact all night long. Said he grabbed his jersey. <sighs> Hunger he comes did. back in for Preston. One and one. Well, these guys have been playing hard on both sides. Leaving it go all night long. That was bad. That was awful. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with the crowd. But Bowie's back at the foul line. Superstars get calls like that, Bobby. Yeah, they do. But, you know, maybe he saw man, the jersey man. being tugged. I didn't see it. I got Dick from playing him tough. 80-75. Iowa's lead, now five with Bowie. One more free throw coming for Bowie. Second one is good. Hawks up by four with a minute to go. And they'll pressure full court. Cricky on the inbounds from McCaffrey. Perkins gets it across the midcourt stripe. 20 on the shot clock, 52 on the game clock. Hawks up two possessions. They can be patient here. Wow. Perkins gets inside, hops to the paint, into the corner to McCaffrey for three. Good! Tony Perkins! That 14th assist, you'll never see a prettier one. Iowa with a three from McCaffrey. Bowie goes all the way and scores, and a timeout Northwestern. That's Northwestern's last timeout. Iowa with a five-point lead, 83-78, 35.8 to play in the game. Tony Perkins. Well, he's not had it scoring-wise today, but, man, has he been a distributor. Yeah, he really has. That time he got into deep trouble down in the paint there. All five players come around, and he saw Patrick McCaffrey in the far right corner holding his hand up, calling for the basketball. And Patrick with ice water in his vein buries it. Perkins split the lane, and I'm telling you, that, that traffic jam looked like mm. the Kennedy at 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, and somehow he spotted a gold jersey in the right corner, and Patrick McCaffrey's had limited minutes today after joining the 1,000-point club. He'll remember that triple for a long time. He certainly will, and, and uh, he shot that one, held the follow-through, held the pose, and then and it's, his teammates on the bench go wild. That's a big shot from Patrick, and what he did right there, though, Gary, was make himself available when he saw his teammate, Tony Perkins, get into trouble in the paint. Boo Booey immediately scored on a layup. He's got 27 points. Four and double figures for both teams. And th this second half shooting has been amazing. Uh, uh, Iowa's at 53%. Northwestern just under 50. With both these defenses playing as hard as you can play. Each team has eight fouls. Nobody in the double bonus yet. Patrick McCaffrey back out on the floor. His first second field goal was a, a big one. Iowa basketball. 35.8 to go in regulation. Tony Perkins landed awkwardly when he jump stepped and landed On underneath the, the basket before he found McCaffrey open. Tony shaking it off. McCaffrey, Dix, Sanford, Cricky, and Perkins. Blake Smith will be guarding, face guarding Patrick McCaffrey, who runs the baseline, gets it into Perkins. Double teamed. He gets rid of it to Peyton Sanford. And Sanford's fouled by Martinelli. Great free throw shooters out there. Dix, Sanford, Perkins. McCaffrey's outstanding. Cricky's been very good. 
You know, pick a Hawkeye, foul them. They've been money at the foul line today, and this is going to be a free throw fest for the final 32.4. It is, and you got a, our best free throw shooter, one of the best right there, Peyton Sanford at the free throw line for a one and one. Ninth team foul on Northwestern. Iowa's not missed a free throw. Nine for nine. Peyton's three for three. First one's right through. He just stares. He just stares and shakes his head at that student body that's waving those tall animal balloons in his face. Sanford with one more. Peyton's got 22. It's just a three possession game right here. And knocks it down. Didn't touch iron with either one. Iowa up 85-78. Northwestern's going to look for quick scores. Smith drives into the paint. Looks for Bowie. Bowie. Puts his elbow out, runs around Dix. Went up for the oh. shot, and it was peeled away. It'll stay with Northwestern. 18 on the shot clock, 21 on the game clock. 21 straight free throws made by Peyton Sanford. Two, 21 seconds on the game clock, 18 on the shot clock. Good defense. He just collapsed around Bowie there. And didn't foul. And didn't foul. Just walled That's important. off. Timeout on the floor. They're going to check the clock, I believe, possession. to make sure. Review possession. You can do that inside the final two minutes. All plays under review are courtesy of Atletico. You see, college football is going to have the two-minute warning next year. More stoppage. Well, they want it to look more like the NFL. It's just another step. They're going to have the uh, microphone and the helmet for the quarterback. That's good. They're allowed iPads on the sidelines. <laughs> Why not? More technology. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you today by Growmark. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com and learn more. You heard Chris Collins in our pregame visit. He was extremely worried about Iowa's fast break running attack. Well, they want to keep it below 65, 65 or below. The Hawks now at 85. Today, fast break points, Iowa 23, Northwestern 5. All right, here we go. Northwestern underneath out of bounds, looking for a quick score. And nowhere to go. Now they get it left of the lane. Jump shot up and good. Martinelli. Martinelli with another basket and an immediate foul on Iowa, or on uh, Northwestern as the Hawks inbounded quickly to, I think, McCaffrey. 85-80, 17.5 to go. What a game Martinelli's had. 17 points. So he is now. Getting these extended minutes. Kid's got game. Yeah, with Ty Berry, he was averaging a dozen plus. Their best three-point shooter. Two free throws for Pat. And Pemack, a very good free thrower. Let's fly with the first one. No good. Rush that one a little bit. 85-80, the score holds with 17 and a half seconds remaining. That's Iowa's first free throw miss today. Second free throw, short. Off the front of the iron. Hawks need to guard. 85-80, Bowie, shot fake, drives into the paint, hops to the high post right to Blake Smith. He lost the ball. Cricky with a steal. Sanford with a run out to Cricky. Here comes a dunk. Game over. 2.5 to go. And the Hawks are going to win it 87-80 to on a Northwestern turnover. The didn't know what to do with the ball. Boo Booey had it in the lane, but decided to give it up to the walk-on Blake Smith. And he dribbled through traffic out the other side and then had it stripped by uh, Ben Cricky. Cricky makes the great defensive play. The Hawks get a dunk at the end and win it 87-80. Yeah, what a finish by the Hawkeyes. You know, we've been in this situation a few times this year, and the Hawkeyes certainly have gained some, some experience from that and finished this game off in a flurry. A, a huge quad one victory for Iowa. And all that's left now is a week from tomorrow, all that's left in the regular season. An evening tip off, a Sunday night, what is that, 6 or 6.30? 6 o'clock, straight up, dinner bell. Illinois coming to Carver Hawkeye Arena. Get your tickets at 1-800-IA-HAWKS. What a team effort by Iowa here this afternoon, and we'll come back and Talk about it on the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show in just a minute. Iowa basketball has been brought to you by Bud and Mary's with the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com 
and learn more. Matt Gaten's out on the floor. He saved the biggest hug for Tony Perkins, and I don't blame Matt one bit. Matt had the scout on today's game. Tony Perkins, 4 of 14 from the field. 1-3, shot only one free throw. Usually he gets a half a dozen free throws a game. Missed a dunk and came right back and was uh, Tony the Tiger. He was growling at the end. 14 assists, no, Bobby, and for two Tony turnovers. Perkins. That's it. That's a 7-1 to one assist to turnover ratio for Perkins. He is just the toughest guy on the floor. He sure was today. He and Josh Dix, who will be our old Dominion best in the game. 24 points, new career high for Josh. 9 of 13 from the field, four threes, and uh, a perfect two of two at the foul line. Iowa in the end makes 11 of 13 free throws. It was a difference maker, and the Hawks are now 16 and 3 on the year when scoring 80 or more points. U.S. Cellular Post Game Show is next here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Iowa beats Northwestern 87-80. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Nurfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Named the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat. Which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeyes still have a uh, postseason heartbeat. Uh, ours were fluttering a little bit here at the scorer's table, but the Hawks with a big second half on the boards and on the scoreboard. 
uh, defeat Northwestern 87-80, putting four and double figures. And Bobby, uh, 65% shooting in the second half by the Hawkeyes. They got the running game going yeah. and then controlled the backboards. Yeah, they did. Uh, they were out-rebounded at halftime by two, I think it was, 14-12. to 12. They end up winning the battle of the boards, 29-22. But Ben Cricky came up big in the second half. Uh, everybody came up. Tony Perkins, the 14 uh, assists in this game. Peyton Sanford wouldn't let his team die. Stepping up to the free throw line, the Hawks go 11-13 of 13 and no bigger shot than Patrick McCaffrey's far right corner three to uh, put the Hawkeyes up by... Uh, seven at that point off the Tony Perkins assist. Ben Cricky had two points at halftime. What a second half. He knew he had to play. Uh, he only ends up with three rebounds. He had one rebound at halftime, but he was big inside with, with uh, three or four Northwestern bigs that were in there banging with him, but he has a knack for he knows how to score, Gary. Once he gets around the rim, throws up that left hand, goes over the right shoulder, gets big backs, big bucket after big bucket. He is a salty veteran, the transfer from uh, Valparaiso. Tony Perkins, speaking of salty, and, and Tony the Tiger Tough, uh, Perkins with uh, 13, or check that, 14 assists. I have that right? Yeah. 14 assists to go with uh, uh, 10 points. Uh, a double-double for uh, Tony. I mean, the guy played 37 minutes, uh, and all that heavy traffic, Northwestern, they were doubling on every catch on the perimeter. To have only two turnovers in yeah. 37 minutes Fabulous. in that mess out there? And, and Boo Boo, he, how about the defense on Boo? Josh Dix made him work, and I thought tired him out at the end of the game. The guy that ends up with the basketball was a walk-on. Blake Smith didn't know what to do with it, and the Hawks hit the run-out dunk for the final tally. Yeah, Bowie had... Um, a solid first half, uh, made all four of his field goals, but the Hawks, uh, they identified him. They got him spotted in that second half and did a much better job. Now, Boo ends up with uh, uh, 27 points, uh, but the Hawks will give him his meat and uh, hopefully slow down everybody else. Martinelli had a good game, as did Barnheiser, but not as well in the second half as they did in the first half. Iowa wins it 87 to 80. That's the final. Bobby's headed off to the Iowa locker room to talk with Fran McCaffrey. He'll be happy as the Hawks now uh, get to uh, 16 and 3. Uh, on the year when uh, scoring 80 or more points. Our post-game coverage is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. As a proud sponsor of the Hawks, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Our best in the game is uh, Josh Dix. So why don't we go into the Hawkeye locker room? Josh is on the headset. Um, ha have you caught your breath now? Can you talk to me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good now. <laughs> What, what a performance and what a second half performance by the entire team. Uh, yeah, you know, we uh, I felt like we really shared the ball and trusted one another in the second half and it led to a lot of open looks. What was the conversation at halftime? I mean, it was uh, seven ties, seven lead changes back and forth. You guys were punch counter punch with the Wildcats, two evenly matched teams. You were down one at the break. You had to feel pretty good about where things were. Oh, yeah, for sure. We knew this is right where we wanted to be, you know, just being down one. We felt like uh, we had a good chance to close it out. You know, we we wanted to run all game and we kind of thought that they'd wear down towards the end. Yeah. And, you know, Boo, you were you were. Uh, a lot of Hawkeye bodies were pounding Boo every time he went in the paint. He had kind of a free run in that first half, but you guys really got physical in that second half. Oh uh, yeah, we tried to just wear him down as much of a play as much as we could. You know, he's a great player, so just tried to limit his touches as much as we can and shut him out when the shot clock was dwindling down. Josh, the Hawks were down minus two rebounds at half. Uh, the Hawks end up out rebounding the Wildcats by seven. That may be the difference maker right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's a thing that we focused on at halftime. You know, we knew if we could get that first miss and then get in our transition game, uh, that would wear them down even more. What is it about Josh Dixon, that step back, that fadeaway jump shot? Uh, it's, it's clear to me you are a much more confident player from the start of the season to now that uh, from that broken leg a couple years ago, you're 100 percent confident in everything you're doing out there. And, you know, a big part of it was uh, by your own admittance. I think at the end of last year, you told me I got to be comfortable with my cuts, you know, putting that leg firmly implanted on the floor, cutting and going. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, just uh, getting back, you know, a lot of people helped me through that process, being able to get back. And then uh, my coaches and teammates just trust me and put a lot of confidence in me. Facial expression never changes. I mean, are you churning inside, uh, in your head, uh, or, or are you just that cool and calm? Uh, yeah, I just tried to stay calm out there, you know, uh, just worry about the next play and uh, what's going to happen next. Uh, just try and focus on the future, you know, uh, impact the next play. You went to the zone. The Hawks went to the zone. It was midway through that second half, and uh, just like the other night against Penn State, uh, it, it paid off. 
Uh, yeah, we, we kind of wanted to change things up. You know, they were running a lot of man sets, so if we could uh, go into our 2-3, we felt like uh, we could slow down their offense a little bit better. How big is it? You, you hit your first two looks from distance today. How big is that, a, a shooter like you, that when, when the first couple drop, uh, that uh, that rim look as wide as Lake Michigan? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it boosts your confidence a lot. But, you know, uh, my teammates were just sending really good screens to get me open, and then Tony was finding me and Peyton as well. Well, Illinois, next Sunday, a week from tomorrow, uh, I don't know that this team uh, uh, is any more confident than you are right now in a week to relax and watch everybody beat everybody else up, get a good week pra uh, practice in, and then, you know, take your shot next Sunday in the Big Ten tournament. Postseason still out there for you. Oh, yeah, you know, we're going to take this week, just rest up and, you know, focus on Illinois. So uh, we felt like we should have got them a couple weeks ago, but uh, we're, we're ready for a rematch. Josh, thanks for your time, but yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Great thank game. I love guys that give short sentences like that because <laughs> you can get all the questions in. But uh, uh, he is long, big, and mean with that jump shot. Josh Dix, sophomore, notched his third straight 20-point game with a career-high 24 points on 9 of 13 shooting, 4 of 5 from 3. It's the first time in Dick's young career that he's reached double figures in three straight games. His fourth 20-point game this season, his ninth game in double digits. And now over the last three games, Josh is averaging 21 and a half points, shooting 68% from the field. Mm. And he's just getting warmed up. Josh Dix, our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion Freightline. Our best in the game and Old Dominion Freightline, they work hand to glove. Old Dominion works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion. Josh Dix logged 37 of the 40 minutes with 24 points. Four of five from distance, made both of his free throws, couple rebounds, three assists, and one steal. Jo uh, ben Cricky had the big steal to seal it in the final 10 seconds as the Hawks win at 87 to 80. Our U.S. Cellular postgame show is coming your way courtesy of our friends at U.S. Cellular. As a proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Hawks have won back-to-back -back games or one above 500 in the Big Ten at 10 and 9. Guaranteed a, uh, a, at least a 500 finish. Uh, they're looking and thinking 11 and 9 now with uh, the uh, hot Illinois Fighting Illini coming in next Sunday night. They won at Wisconsin today. Back with more U.S. Cellular postgame show in just a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online.
A lot of black and gold fans making their way out of here. Some hanging around to see their favorite player at Welsh Ryan Arena. Here in Evanston, the Hawkeyes get out of town with an 87-80 victory over Northwestern. Hard fought, but the Hawks prevailed, keeping the lead for a second straight time. First at home against Penn State, and here today at Northwestern. Both teams made runs at the Hawkeyes in the end, but uh, Iowa with that great floor leadership, particularly Peyton Sanford. Josh Dix, the quiet one, the quiet assassin. And, of course, uh, Tony Perkins with his uh, game high, certainly career high, 14 assists. And the Hawks win it, leading, uh, trailing 37-36 at the half. They outscore the uh, Wildcats in the second half. 51-43 and win it by seven. Let's take a look at the rest of the Hy-Vee stats, courtesy of our friends at Hy-Vee. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free Hy-Vee Perks membership. Hy-Vee. For the game, the Hawks shoot uh, 55%, 33 of 60, 63% in the second half. And they hit four threes in the second half on the day, 10 of 20 from distance, 33 of 60 from the field. Iowa out-rebounded Northwestern 29-22. Northwestern shot 53.8, almost 54% for the game, 52% in the second half. That second half was about as entertaining as it gets, Bobby. Yeah, it, it was back and forth, and I thought the, the Hawkeye depth carried them through. Yeah, no matter who you were pulling for. Uh, and no question that the Hawks, uh, uh, Owen Freeman, once he got back in the game, he had a couple baskets. Uh, he was refreshed after all. That bench time with foul issues, Lodgy Dembele played well in uh, 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 Owen's absence, but he too got in foul trouble. The Hawks withered uh, or, or weathered uh, most of that second half with a shortened lineup and got to the finish line with a victory, 87-80. Individually, four and double figures led by our uh, star of the game, Josh Dix. 24 points for Josh, 9 of 13 from the field, including four three-point goals. 23 for Peyton Sanford, another big-time game for the 6'7 junior, made all five of his free throws, uh, four three-point goals, 7 of 14 from the field. Peyton Sanford, a dozen for Ben Cricky. Big second half. Ben had two at the break and played much better in the second half, rebounding and, of course, the big steal that sealed the game in the final few seconds. Ten points for Tony Perkins, but that doesn't begin to tell the tale of his performance. Fourteen assists and only two turnovers in 37 minutes for Tony Perkins. A half a, uh, half a dozen points. I beg your pardon. Five points for Patrick McCaffrey. None bigger than that three-point goal with 41 seconds to go that put Iowa up seven. They had a two-possession lead, uh, but it was iffy with 41 seconds to go. It was going to be a parade to the free-throw line until Patrick stepped up and drilled that corner three off a great feed from Perkins. Shot it with confidence and uh, clock winding down as well. And Tony found him, got into trouble a little bit in the paint in there, but just another one of his 14 game-high assists. Owen Freeman played half the game because of foul trouble. Still had nine points and six rebounds. When he was on the floor, he was effective. Uh, for Northwestern, they shoot 28 of 52. Likewise, uh, 10 of 20 from three. Uh, the uh, Wildcats, uh, four and double figures led by the incomparable Boo Boo. He had 27 points, 16 in the second half. Uh, Boo, nine of 13 from the field. Six threes in seven tries. That unorthodox, almost... Uh, hip starting set shot going a step back uh, uh, the guy has had it zeroed in his entire career and uh, Fran talks about it uh, you know what a player he is but how he's improved his shooting since he first set foot here in, uh, in Evanston on the campus and we'll come back to you in the locker room with Fran in just a minute 20 for Brooks Barnheiser he had a terrific game 7 of 15 from the field made all four of his free throws 17 for Nick Martinelli uh, 17 points uh, for Martinelli 6 of 13 from the field. 11 points for Blake Smith, the walk-on. Uh, he victimized with that turnover in the end, but uh, this young guy uh, uh, forced into uh, action because of the uh, injury situation with uh, Northwestern. They, uh, for a second straight game, were without Ryan Langborg and his 13-point average, the transfer for, from Princeton. But you know what? Everybody's beat up this time of year, and Chris Collins has done a great job keeping the team together physically. Uh, but 11 points for the uh, uh, the youngster, the, the walk-on, um, Blake Smith. And he'll come back for more as this season wears on. Nobody else in double figures for the Wildcats. The Hawks win at 87-80 after trailing 37-36 at the break. And 
I mentioned late in the game, Bobby, the Hawks got their fast break going in that second half. Sec- uh, fast break points, Iowa 25, Northwestern 9. Yeah, hu- huge, huge key. Yeah, that, that was one of our uh, club car wash keys to the game is you got to attack, you got to rebound and run. The Hawks did that a lot in the second half. While we're running, let's take a look at the points in the paint, courtesy of Spot and Rose every post game. As a roofing contractor, your time is important. That's why GAF engineered the strike zone, nailing area. Engineered the strike zone nailing area into their new GAF Timberline HDZ shingles. It gives you a nailing target up to 600% larger than their traditional shingles for faster, more accurate installations. New Timberline HDZ, the same great shingle that protects millions of American homes with great new features to protect your valuable time. Find GAF Roofing at your local Spawn and Rose. Boo Booey was a big reason Northwestern had more paint scores, but not much. Northwestern with 34 point, eight points in the lane to Iowa's 32. So the Hawks uh, were working the fast break and still competing in the middle. Yeah, they certainly did. Uh, that number was reversed there in the first half. I remember looking at it, and uh, the Hawks just kind of got busy and got to the rim. Uh, played downhill, got the fast break going, and that's where you get the points in the paint. That's our points in the paint, courtesy of Spot and Rose. Again, 34-32 Northwestern Hawks and fast break points 25-9. to nine. There were seven lead changes, seven ties, all in the uh, first half, except the opening minutes of the second half when the Hawks got the lead, I believe it was an 8-0 run uh, out of the gate or at least a minute or two into that second half, got the lead, never gave it up, led by as many as 11 and win it by 7, 87-80. That's our hy V stat recap courtesy of our friends at hy V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free hy V Perks membership. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need, whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Arena on our U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, if you had other plans today, just tuned in. You missed a great basketball game, and the Hawkeyes get to 10 and 9 in the Big Ten, 18 and 12 on the year with an 87-80 victory over the Northwestern Wildcats. Bobby Hansen's in the Hawkeye locker room with head coach Fran McCaffrey. He's sponsored by the great Iowa John Deere dealers, including Bowden Steiner Implement in Claremont. Here's Bobby. Coach, congratulations. Huge quad one victory on the road against a team that doesn't lose at home here. Northwestern 14-1 and one on the season. You guys come in here and hang 87 points on them. Floor is yours. How'd you guys get it done? Well, we, we out-rebounded them. We shot a great percentage because we move and share the ball. I mean, look at the assists, Bobby. 25 assists, 33 field goals. You know, the way they play defense, 
you have to move the ball and you score early in transition or you score late after you move the ball side to side, force them to make multiple switches, back cuts, curl cuts, driving kicks, get to the free throw line, get to the double bonus, which we did. Uh, just really, really impressive performance by so many different people. And Coach, you've been in this situation a few times this year, and uh, this one you put away, and you, you really took it to them at the end there. And uh, talk about some of those individual performances, in particular, career high Josh Dix and his defense on Boo. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a tough cover because there, it's constant ball screen, it's constant handoff ball screen, uh, and he, you know, he's crafty. And the way he's shooting the ball now, you know, when he first came into the league, he was an okay shooter. He was a, he was an attack the rim guy. He was a play off the dribble guy for other people. But now, after today, he's probably shooting 50% from three in league play, and he's not shooting one a game. He shot seven. So uh, that guy is a handful, and he, and he stretches your defense in so many different ways. Uh, we got the stops we needed, and uh, we'll learn from some of the mistakes we made. Tony Perkins had his hands full all night long, handling the basketball under pressure. 14 assists by Tony to just two turnovers and big play after big play down the stretch from, from Perkins. Yeah, huge, huge assist to Patrick in the corner. Uh, I think that was the one that sealed it. Uh, just really impressed with, with Tony's performance because he was really working defensively, really pushing the ball. Played a ton of minutes, played him almost 37 minutes. Uh, so really proud of him. Talk about that big three by Patrick, though. He, he called for the basketball. He made himself available when Tony got into some traffic in the paint. Well, you know what, Bobby? We, we were getting layups. We were attacking the rim. We were driving the ball, uh, and they were collapsing on penetration. So, you know, you have to spot up and be ready to shoot it when the ball's delivered. The ball was delivered. Patrick raised up and killed it. So just really happy for him. And I thought uh, the switch to the zone toward the end of the game really paid dividends. It slowed them uh, down just a little bit, weren't able to get to the rim quite as easy. Exactly. It, it, it just got them a little bit sideways. You, like you said, it slowed them down. They took longer to score. We have a lead, so you want them to take longer to score, not run a quick hit. Uh, and then we rebounded out of it, so that was good. Yeah, Coach, so uh, this gives you uh, another quad one, which by my count is four of them, as we march toward the NCAA tournament. One game left. The beauty of that is you get to get enjoy the week and practice and work on some things, and you've, you're the final game of the Big Ten against Illinois. We just saw them a week ago. Your thoughts on that game coming up? Well, one of the best teams in our league. Great road win today at Wisconsin. Uh, tough group, uh, multiple scores, big, big team. Uh, we'll have a great crowd and uh, really celebrate our seniors. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations once again and enjoy this one. And we'll catch up Monday night at Hawk Talk at the Hyatt. Appreciate it, Bobby. Fran McCaffrey, uh, relaxed, relieved, and uh, very happy in his sit-down with Bobby Hansen on the postgame show, courtesy of Bowden Steiner Implement, your great Iowa and trusted Iowa John Deere dealer. Bowden Steiner Implement, 10 locations scattered throughout northeast Iowa to better serve you. 8780, the Hawkeyes hold off the Wildcats with a big second half, and we're coming back with more on the U.S. Cellular postgame show in a minute. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. 
American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawkeye postgame show courtesy of U.S. Cellular rolls along. Iowa outlasts Northwestern. A great Big Ten basketball game. Here in Evanston, 87-80, and here are some of the memories. Uh, uh, like the Penn State game the other night, both Peyton Sanford and Josh Dix were hot at the start of the game. There's Sanford around the ring, into the corner to Cricky. Now to Peyton. He's open for three. Tie game. Stuck it going to his left. That's his favorite move. Right wing for Dix. Covered up by Barnheiser. Northwestern's defense much better in the second half of the season. Sanford's open for three more. Splash down. Peyton Sanford again going to his left in the left corner and reined it in. Sanford and Josh Dix uh, set the early tempo uh, that wiped out an early five-point Northwestern lead. Here's Dix with his first look of the day. Here's Dix. He tries a three right wing. Good. Three threes for the Hawkeyes, two by Peyton, the first by Josh, as he likes uh, the first look he took. And it's 10-9, Northwest. I made it a one-point game, and a minute later, Owen Freeman, uh, with a great move, gets the and one, and Iowa takes the lead. Bubui with a shot fake, gets around Dix, almost threw it away, has a pass deflected, and now it is stolen away by Perkins. Northwestern pressing inside on the attack. Here's a catch by Freeman in the transition. A score off glass. What soft hands by Owen Freeman. And a foul called on Northwestern. Nine points, six rebounds for Owen Freeman on the day. Only played half the game. A little over 20 minutes due to that pesky foul situation. And he's going to learn from it. He's got some big moments left in this season. And, man, how good can he be going forward? After that, Tony Perkins got a layup with the assist from Peyton Stan- Sanford. Uh, after uh, Freeman made the free throw, that put Iowa up 17 to 10. This was uh, toward the end of a 14 to 2 run by the Hawkeyes, eight minutes uh, deep in the game. We uh, move further later in the half, four minutes to go. It's still uh, Northwestern rolled back uh, from uh, eight down. Uh, the Hawkeyes uh, uh, gave the lead up at 31-29 with a little more than four minutes to play in the first half. Sanford regains it for the Hawkeyes. Tony Perkins with a, a rebound and a run out. Stop and go move. Gets left of the lane to Sanford in the corner for three. Good. And the Iowa Hawkeyes take the lead. Timeout, Northwestern. One of 14 assists by Tony Perkins. Uh, we'll double check the stats. I got to believe that's a career high uh, for him. Uh, Peyton stroked that three. Uh, Sanford ends up with, uh, on the day, uh, Sanford. Uh, 24 points, 23 for Peyton, 24 for Dix. Sanford ends up with 23 points, including that three on 7 of 14 shooting. Iowa was up one, uh, 32-31. The Hawks trailed 37-36 at the half. The start of that second half was critical. Dix stroked a three, and then Laji Dembele talked down a, a jump hook. Again, he's out there uh, spelling uh, Owen Freeman, who was uh, got a, a third foul early in the second half. The Hawks had a 41-39 lead. Northwestern tied it at 41. And then Josh Dix, cold-blooded, came down the floor. Perkins passes up the lane jumper, finds Dix in the corner, and Josh Dix blows the smoke off that six-shooter as he drills another three. 17-17 to play in the game. Dix with 9 of 13 from the field, including four threes in five uh, shots for his total of 24 points. He was spectacular. Again, a new career high. Ben Cricky after an Iowa stop. Ben, Cri- ben Cricky puts Iowa up five. Hands it off to Perkins. Two veterans. And Belly with a cut through. They go weak side to Cricky. Jump up. Good. Right of the lane. Nice shot fake by Ben. He rolled into the paint and scores from point blank range. He's- 
Iowa 46-41. We didn't know it at the time, but Cricky was in a streak of three consecutive baskets, including this jump shot with 13 minutes to go. Tony, same play, lobs it into Cricky. He's got a bigger man on him now. Ben, reverse dribble into the paint. Elevates high and knocks down the 10-footer. With oh, a six-foot-nine, <laughs> Luke Hunger right in his, right in his nose. Uh, that jump shot put the Hawks up 6-52-46. Cricky had two points at halftime, a big second half, uh, totaling 10 points. And again, the assist to Tony, Tony Perkins. He was uh, dishing great passes out to his teammates all afternoon long. The Hawks went back up 6. Uh, it was 54-48 Iowa, 12 minutes to go in the game. Hawks got a stop. That defense got stiffer and tighter as the uh, half wore on. And Peyton Sanford. Uh, waved his magic wand again. Rebound tip, McCaffrey to Sanford. Here's Perkins streaking to the other end of the floor. Now throws to a trailing Sanford. His three, good. What a play by Tony Perkins. The assist to Perkins. Peyton's three put Iowa up nine, 57-48. That was Iowa's biggest lead and uh, came at the end of a, a set, uh, excuse me, that put Iowa up 57-48. A moment later, uh, the Hawks and Tony Perkins went up double digits, first time on the day. Now circles back out to the wing. Ten seconds to shoot. Perkins now starts back inside. Leans in. Step back. Jumper is good. Tough man, Tony. Tony the Tiger. Ten points, 14 assists, and just two turnovers in 37 minutes for Tony Perkins. What a workhorse. And that came at the end of a 7-0 run and gave Iowa its first double-digit lead at 59-48. But with Boo Booey on your team, you know Northwestern wasn't going to go away. They came back, uh, got to within five at 65-60, and then 65-62 with a little more than six minutes to go. And Josh Dick slammed the door shut. Camera caroms out to Peyton Sanford, and the Hawks keep the ball. Oh, he was going to bring the glass and the rim down, and Flat missed it. Canned it off the back of the iron. Now Dix hits the 17-footer. Josh Dix. Wow. Says, I'll bail you out, partner. Don't worry about it. Uh, that came after Tony Perkins on a breakaway, went up for a slam dunk and caught the back of the iron, and it, what, caromed out 20, 25 feet uh, to, uh, I believe, Peyton Sanford. And the Hawks still with plenty of time in the shot clock, working around to their hot man, Josh Dix, and he responded. Put the Hawks back up two possessions at 67-62. Uh, Northwestern scored. Cricky then countered with two free throws. It was 69-65 Iowa. Hawks get another stop. Now they're in the zone, and the zone's effective, and this happened. Cricky. Now here's Freeman inside, scores off the glass. Boo Booey had no chance. Looked like Freeman was going to go in for the two-head tomahawk, and Boo just got out of his way. Yeah, Boo got switched at, uh, what's, what's Boo, 6'2", 6'1", on the 6'10", Freeman, and it was all over. 71-65, Iowa. That with five minutes to go. Iowa gets another stop and a score. Sanford all the way to the basket. Left hand off the glass and good. And the Hawks got it in fourth gear now of that running game. How about that? 73-65 after the Peyton Sanford layup. Another 6-0 Iowa run had the Hawks up eight. Northwestern would close to within five on a couple of occasions. Patrick McCaffrey, uh, actually it was a... Uh, it was a four-point game, 80 to 76, with a little over a minute to go. The Hawks worked the uh, the clock under a minute. Patrick McCaffrey crashed in a big three from the corner. Another great assist from Tony Perkins. That with 41 seconds to go, and Iowa went up 83-76. It was 85-80 Iowa with under a half a minute to go. Now we go inside 10 seconds. Hawks needed one stop. Hops to the high post right to Blake Smith. He lost the ball. Cricky with a steal. Sanford with a run out to Cricky. Here comes a dunk. Game over. 2.5 to go. And the Hawks are going to win it 87 to 80. On a Northwestern turnover, the Wildcats didn't know what to do with the ball. And Boo Booey had it in the lane, but decided to give it up to the walk-on Blake Smith. And he dribbled through traffic out the other side and then had it stripped by uh, Ben Cricky. Cricky makes the great defensive play. The Hawks get a dunk at the end and win it 87-80. Well played game. Seven turnovers by Northwestern, just five by Iowa. I mean, that's incredible uh, if you were here and uh, witnessed this thing. It was end-to-end, -end, back and forth, 87-80. The Hawks win it before a little more than uh, 7,000 fans. Another sellout here at Welsh Ryan Arena. What a, what a great remodel they did uh, on this uh, 
uh, facility a few years ago, and uh, it's loud. And today the Hawks weathered the storm and win it 87-80. Those are some of the highlights from today's game. Let's pause 10 seconds now for station identification. Station ID time on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. Northwestern coach Chris Collins, uh, we'll hear from him next uh, and a scoreboard. That'll wrap up our U.S. Cellular postgame show in just a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Back at Welsh Ryan Arena as we wind down the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Northwestern basketball coach Chris Collins, uh, always cordial and talking with Bobby and I whenever we come over here or in Iowa City. Uh, he's a uh, he's a very good uh, loser. He doesn't lose very often, but he was very complimentary of the Hawkeyes today on the post game show on WGN with the voice of the Wildcats. Dave Ennett uh, and uh, his outstanding analyst, uh, Billy McKinney, the former great player here at Northwestern. Uh, it, I don't know if you heard Billy's remarks there, but it is tough. We take as many of your guys out of your lineup. Uh, it's it's tough to withstand, isn't it? We're of the mindset that we got to figure out how to win who's ever out there. You know, and that's been our mindset all along. Injuries are part of the game. They stink. You know, what happened to Ty, what's happened to Ryan, now what's happened to Matt. But we, we got to figure it out. And, and all those things can sink. All those things happen. And we still had it there to two points late in the game. And we just couldn't get the stops in the last three minutes. And we had some critical breakdowns, I thought, during that period. And at the end of the day, guys, like, we just can't withstand giving up 51 and a half. You know, like, that's just not how we're built right now um you know we fought valiantly you know guys are fighting you got multiple guys you have three guys who pretty much played the whole game in boo brooks and nick um guys are fighting through stuff we, you know we got down 11 and guys rallied and they fought back and um you know it's just frustrating um just because you want to have obviously your full complement and and then when we were there in the last couple minutes we we still had our chances and we just came up short how much did matt's absence in the second half though affect this game yeah well his rim protection you know i mean i think you look in the second half their points in the paint i think they had 10 in the first half right mm -hmm. and i think they got 22 points in the paint in the second half you know and that's 
that's Matt a lot of times. You know, his presence at the basket, he makes it hard to score down there. And, you know, when you didn't have that rim protection, then some of their guys were able to get downhill. We we gave up some critical layups, I thought, down the stretch. And, um, you know, just a frustrating loss. I mean, we're, we're fighting, we're battling, we're trying. Guys are throwing their hearts onto the floor and, um, you know, just came up a few possessions short tonight. Chris Collins, uh, the uh, Northwestern head coach in his 11th year here. Yeah, the mat he was ta- they were talking about, thanks to Dave Ennett and WGN for letting us eavesdrop there on their uh, post-game visit. Uh, the mat they were talking about, 7-foot, 280-pound center, Matt Nicholson. He hasn't been playing uh, at least up to what he felt uh, Matt's standards are, but he was playing well in the first half today and then turned his ankle early in the second half. And when you're turning an ankle at 280 pounds, that is not good. He did not return. And uh, certainly Iowa exploited that uh, 36 points in the first half for the Hawks, 51 in the second half. And the Hawks uh, trailed by one and win it 87 to 80. Are heating up the nets. Hot Hawkeye for the day, Peyton Sanford played 37 minutes, 23 points, 7 of 14 from the field. And he batted 500 from distance, 4 of 8 from 3, made all five of his free throws. And that was huge. That was critical. Uh, But he added six assists and five rebounds for good measure. Peyton Sanford, our hot Hawkeye. Hot Hawkeye, courtesy of your Lennox dealers of Iowa, including affordable service in Fairfield, Lozier Heating and Cooling in Des Moines, Verlin's Plumbing and Heating in Denison, uh, near Manchester in Delaware County. Stop in and see Don and Waltz. And Camelin Plumbing and Heating in Creston. Congratulations, Peyton Sanford, our hot Hawkeye, courtesy of the Lennox Dealers of Iowa. Let's find out how the Hawks did at the foul line now, courtesy, uh, courtesy of Latham Seeds. This is the Latham Seeds charity stripe recap. Here's how the Hawks did from the uh, foul line. Very good again. They only got there 13 times compared to the other night. But Peyton Sanford has made, what, 21, 22 straight uh, free throws? 21 in a row. Hawks made 11 of 13 today, 85% conversion rate. Northwestern, 14 of 16, equally good at 88%. That's the charity stripe update, courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawkeyes' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you, Latham, for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye charity stripe promotion all season long. Let's conclude our U.S. Cellular postgame show with a scoreboard update. And let's start with the Iowa Girls State Basketball Finals uh, going on at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. Uh, Everything's complete except one game tonight in the 1A championship. It'll be North Lynn versus Newell Fonda. That at 7 o'clock. Last night and today in Class 5A, number one Johnston prevailed, beating Dowling 48-36. The 4A champion is Clear Creek Amana. Uh, out defensing Waverly Shellrock today, 43-25. That in the 4A title game. Solon won in uh, 3A, back-to-back for Solon, defeating Esterville Lincoln Central, 54-47. And uh, late this afternoon in the Class 2A championship, Dyke New Hartford edged out Panorama, 48-46. Again, Newell, uh, Fonda, and North Lynn will decide the 1A crown tonight. Now other finals in the Big Ten today. Uh, 13th-ranked Illinois, they'll be at Carver Hawkeye a week from tomorrow, defeated Wisconsin in Madison, 91-83. Minnesota down 23 points in the first half, came back to beat Penn State 75-70. The Gophers win at Williams Arena. Tonight, it's Michigan State and Purdue. In fact, they just started that game down at Mackey Arena. Iowa State, a winner over Central Florida on the road today. The Cyclones on a roll, ranked 8th, defeated UCF 60 to 52. Among the ranked teams today, South Carolina knocked off Florida, 82-76. Baylor beat Kansas, 82-74. Kentucky outpointed Arkansas, 111 to 102. Sixth-ranked Arizona, an easy time of it with Oregon, 103-83. And it was 12th-ranked Creighton, a winner over 5th-ranked Marquette, 89-75. to Other finals, North Carolina dropped North Carolina State, 79-70. Auburn uh, got by Mississippi State, 78-63. South Florida ranked 25th, 15 better than Charlotte, 76-61. Tenth-ranked uh, Duke had no trouble with the Virginia Cavaliers, 73-48. And at the half, it's UCLA trailing at 19th-ranked Washington State, 40-32. to Iowa baseball uh, plays uh, at Ole Miss uh, tonight. That's a night game. Uh, those two teams have split the first two games of the weekend. And the Hawkeye women... 
Big day tomorrow to wrap up the regular season. 12.30 tip against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Number two ranked and Big Ten champion Ohio State in town to take on the Hawks at 12.30 at Carver Hawkeye Arena. If you don't have a ticket, don't bother going unless you've got a lot of money. Now that's our scoreboard courtesy of U.S. Bank. And that'll wrap up our U.S. Cellular postgame coverage here from Welsh Ryan Arena. We'll take a break and say goodnight for Bobby Hansen, for our engineer producer, Corey Sheets. I'm Gary Dolphin. Join us uh, Monday night for Hawk Talk with uh, coaches Bluter and McCaffrey. Back-to-back Hawk Talks at the Hyatt Regency. Better yet, come on out. Bring your radios with you if you'd like, but certainly tune in to Hawk Talk in the Iowa River Landing at the Hyatt Regency starting at 6 o'clock on Monday night. The final again from Northwestern today, Iowa 87. Northwestern 80. Have a great rest of your weekend. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, Our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with a new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.